<clears throat> oh, my hair's crazy today, man. Um, I've been staring at the sun, staring at the sun in my eyes. I've been keeping on the run, keeping on the run every night. We need to. What's up, Prince Scory? How you doing tonight? Or today, I guess you could say, because, you know, it is daytime somewhere. <laughs> I said Prince Scory. Man, I'm stupid. Is it Princess Cory? Am I a fucking idiot? <laughs> I swear, if it's Princess Cory, I'm an idiot. It is in fact daytime here. <laughs> it's Princess Cory. Who'd have fucking known? <laughs> no, I, uh, yeah, I figured as much. I mean, it goes back and forth because, like, technically, it's still daytime for me. I mean, it's only it's only 5:32 p.m. for me right now. But I I do get a lot of uh, like British people from like uh, Britain and the UK and shit. Like, they come over and watch my stream, and so. That shit's like a 12 hour difference. <laughs> like I'll be playing at like 8 at night and these motherfuckers will be like, oh yeah, it's fucking morning here, just drinking my tea. <laughs> I mean the grind's going, I just kind of just got on. I um, I was like screwing around for a while and uh, I've just been leveling most of my classes. Uh, 
I got just got High Seas Commander. I just got uh, Infinite Legion Dark Caster. Same with well, I've had Sonic Mindbreaker, but I was leveling that one. I just got Stone Crusher. Um, finally hit ten for Vampire Lord. I have a couple more in the bank that I was leveling. That's what they say. True, Australia is different, but they they do that. They're like, um, all right. I had a dude hop into the Discord with me, and he goes, he's like, yeah, you know, just gonna fucking drink my tea for a little bit. So give me a little wee second. I'm like, a wee second, all right. And then we were playing, and he's like, he's just sitting there, and he got really, really, really pissed off, and he's like, ah, oh, this little fucking cunt. I was just sitting there like, dude. This son of a bitch is pure British. It's like, I, I, it's funny just how different people talk, even though it's the same fucking language. It's just the lingo or the fucking how the words are used it just cracks me up every time. They do say that shit. They do. They really do. And it's... What's funny about it, though, like, what cracks me up is, like, they say it like it's some normal shit. Like, you know, if you went up to someone, you're like, bruh, are you fucking serious? No, they'd be like, hey, bruv. <laughs> like, bruv, you trying to get your fucking ass whooped or what, mate? <laughs> like, elementary school in the States, so people say my accent is a little off. You know, I, I get that. I get that. Um, the accents carry, that's for sure. Because, uh, like, I'm, I'm from, from Texas in the States, and, like, you know, ever, not everyone there is howdy, howdy, god dang, sons, bitch. You know, no. No. But, like, there'd be certain things I'd say like that, and I just, I don't know, I kind of, like, lost that accent. I just don't say it anymore. No, I don't wear a cowboy hat walk around in my fucking Wranglers jeans with my damn horse now. <laughs> love how Americans randomly break out in chat <laughs> I mean, it's true though. <laughs> That's Okay, okay, actually, hold on, hold on. There's an explanation for that actually. There is an explanation. So the explanation for it is how I just talked in British in British, with a British accent, Jesus. Uh, that's how every movie like depicts every British person. You can't tell me I'm not right either. You know every fucking British movie. <laughs> it is a meme. Sadly, it is. Well, I mean, the world looks at America like we're all a bunch of fat ass fucking dudes who are just like. Yeehaw! On some damn horses and fucking have the American flag above us. <laughs> it's it's super true, cause like every everywhere around the world that I've gone, like that's just how people act. Like I've been, I've been to, uh, I guess like the two places I, I've I've been to, been to that I got to actually like talk to people were fucking Japan and Korea, and nah, them motherfuckers, they fucking. That's exactly how they see us. It's actually, it's super funny. Well, I used to live in Colorado and met a lot of, <laughs> yeah, fucking Colorado. Uh, so I have a couple buddies from Colorado who lived in Colorado. Um, them sons of bitches, they be doing drugs out there. <laughs> like, they... They really be hitting that shit. Oh, I do too. I absolutely love Japan and Korea. Um, Japan, I just I love Japan because like first of all the water, you can't you can't go wrong with the water there. Absolutely gorgeous. Vietnam too. Still from the war, they hate Americans and think they're dumb. You know, I understand that. I mean, there there are people in Japan who think that way too about Americans. Like they still fucking absolutely hate them. I love Australians though. Yeah, I haven't been to Australia yet. Uh, I have a lot of buddies who've gone and they fucking, they love Americans over there. I know we went back on a holiday and my old ass dad and his friends kept drowning gummies. <laughs> oh, downing gummies. I was like, drowning? Wait a minute. <laughs> no, fucking, yeah. 
I don't know what it is. Colorado is just... That's what they do in that fucking state. Because, like, every single one of the guys I know that is, like, from Colorado tells me the same shit. They're like, oh, yeah, we used to get fucking smoke checked by how much fucking uh, drugs they would do. And I'm just like, damn, you're just coming out and saying that. But no, I loved I loved Japan because and the people were super nice in Japan. Like, I love like their morals and everything too. Like, I love how they don't expect a tip, and if you do tip them, it's a fucking insult to them and shit. Like, I don't know. I just absolutely love that shit. Yeah, because sometimes Americans don't get sarcasm. I don't believe anything you tell them. Yeah, I'd I'd 100% believe that actually, especially my dumbass. No, I loved I loved Japan for those reasons, and then Korea. I don't know. I tried a lot of crazy shit. Yeah, I love the polite culture there. I think Korea, like, it's not as polite in Korea, but like, it's definitely, definitely pretty fucking like nice there. Uh, I went to Seoul, the, the town, no city, not town. The city of Seoul in fucking um, Korea. I liked it though. Like it was actually super fucking funny because when we were there, uh, we were like walking down the road, and there was like a rally going on, and we were just like, "What the fuck's going on here?" You know? And we walk past it, and all the people like turn and like see us, and they're like, "Oh, Americans, Americans, come here, come here, come here, come here!" You know, like they pulled us to the side, and it was a Trump rally, <laughs> and they're like, they're like losing their shit. They're like talking about fucking, uh, talking about. Uh, invading North Korea. <laughs> it's just fucking hilarious. One of my American friends thought my Wi-Fi was bad because I lived in the desert because Australia didn't have cities. I'd understand that too. Uh, I I've seen I've seen a lot of pictures from a lot of my guys who uh, have been in uh, Australia and yeah. I don't know, man. Look, all I'm saying is Australia Australia is on some shit with. How do I put this? Anything that's in it, Australia, multiply the size of it by 10 and then multiplies the danger and just poison and venom and anything bad by 10. And that is any wildlife in Australia. And you can't say I'm wrong on that. I do want to go to Australia though. That'd be fun. Cause I've been I've been to Japan, Australia, Kuwait, Oman, uh, Somalia. Where else? Alaska, obviously, but that's not really. That's now in the states. Um, oh, killed myself. Whatever. Oh yeah, one year my sister saw a spider on her window in Easter, and it was so big and fuzzy she thought it was an Easter bunny. Didn't have the heart to tell. <laughs> that's the. That's where it's at. That. That is where it's at right there. Like, if if I saw so, so like all right. I used to have a huge arachnophobia. Now, like, if you don't know what arachnophobia is, like, fear of spiders. Huge, like, huge, 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 huge arachnophobia. And I went to Japan, and so I'm in the jungle. And uh, where I was, like, I had to conceal myself. Uh, basically, I had to make myself invisible just with everything around me, trees and everything. And... One of my buddies went to help me, and he came over, and he moved this log to, like, move it over onto me, you know? And as he moves it, I swear... No, no, no. Well, okay, here's the thing. Now, you're... you're here's, here's where it is harmful. About 10 or 11-ish spiders just falls out of this thing and gets all in my clothes, and I have no idea where the hell they went. Nowhere. 
and I had to just sit there quiet. Like, I couldn't move or anything. I couldn't be loud. And so, meanwhile, all these spiders are just in me. I swear to God, I'm not even kidding. At least half of them had to have been brown recluses. And that's a no bueno. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus is right. <laughs> I still, I don't know where the hell they went. <laughs> I do not. Oh, oh, you got to think though. I had arachnophobia at the time. That's how I overcame it. I was just like, whatever, I'm done with this shit. But like, I had such a bad arachnophobia. Like I'm talking, if I'd have see, seen a spider in my place, in my house, in my bathroom, anything, and I didn't know where that bitch went, I'd like get the heebie-jeebies and shit, and I would not go into that fucking room four days like i don't give a shit if that's the only bathroom in my place i'm going up into the damn woods and i'm dropping a deuce <laughs> and you live to tell it right hey there's been some crazy shit like i had a fucking um i had one time we were standing by a huge like ditch right and it was in a kuwait no 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 it might have been in Kuwait. I don't remember. It might have been in Kuwait or it might have just been in California. One of the two. <laughs> but uh, I remember I was just sitting there doing nothing, chilling, like no problem. And I remember just seeing something move. And I was like, what the fuck? Like it blended in like crazy. And I looked down and I kid you not, I don't know how long it had been there. I don't know what was going on. But for about, I'd been there for like 10 minutes. Well, when I found this thing next to me, it was a little baby fucking rattlesnake now i don't know if you know anything about snakes but if it's a baby and it's like poisonous like a rattlesnake their venom their poison is a lot worse because they can't control how much they put in you and so that shit's scary right yeah phobias are so annoying you can't oh hell no i can't control it so i saw that shit i remember looking down and seeing it and just going oh <laughs> taking two steps back and going hey there's a snake over here and just like walking away they ended up coming over and checking it out. They're like, oh, that's a that's a rattlesnake. And I was like, ah. So you mean to tell me I almost died? Because <laughs> there was no way I was getting... Like, the nearest hospital was like an hour away. No way I was going to fucking make it. Because I specifically remember them telling me. They're like, oh, yeah, you would have died if you got bit, man. Nearest hospital was like an hour away. Even if you got life lighted, it will take it a while. Honestly, all right. So I love snakes. Like, if I could have a pet snake, I would have one. But they, they some freaky sons of bitches. I will not lie there. Like, even every now and then, they get my ass. Because, like, just the thought of one of them fuckers latching onto you and just dropping venom into your system. Like, I don't know. That's some, that's some sick shit right there. For so long, I was living now, so granted, okay, like, granted. I do love snakes, and you gotta admit, some snakes are some are just beautiful, like absolutely gorgeous. Cause like I just love the skin. I guess you could, yeah, it's a skin. I love the skin patterns of uh, of snakes. Don't know why. I just I've always have you know many green ones. But if it got out of its cage, I wouldn't sleep. <laughs> well, um, so I used to have gardener snakes or garden snakes, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and they're super harmless, and uh, I used to love those little fuckers. And then I had a, a boa um, at one point. I've always loved them. They're really beautiful, though. Uh, I had a buddy. He actually had um, he had an albino, like a very ridiculously rare albino, kind of like boa. And I was like, whoa, like this thing was beautiful. Well, he literally made a living off of it because he would he would mate it all the time. And every now and then he would get an albino, actually. And if he would get an albino, he was able to sell that shit for thousands of dollars. And I'm just sitting here like, this man just makes his money off of a fucking snake. That shit's ridiculous. I love him, though. I got... I think they're awesome. Even though they are deadly as fuck. Like, for example, like tarantulas. I love tarantulas. I wouldn't I, I wouldn't really hold it. Like, 
do I am I scared to no I just I don't know I just don't have an interest in holding it but I like tarantulas I think they're badass in my opinion like who else can fucking use their little uh their little spines like their little hairs to attack something like that's who else has that much strength yeah it is it's super funny uh side hustle now one thing that, that's actually really cool though um you ever heard of a thing called tarantula hawks i don't know if they have them in australia and shit they have like the second p most painful sting uh in the world i think Yeah, they really are. Especially the dart frog. Beautiful frog, but super deadly. Okay, so... Uh, if you ever look up on YouTube, uh, it's a dude named Coyote something. He basically just gets bit by everything and anything. Like, my man's fucking... Like, pro poked himself with a fucking anglerfish. Or a lionfish, I mean. Like, shit's insane. But... Um, so tarantula hawks are actually, imagine a, a tarantula hawks, yeah, yeah, it's either tarantula wasp or tarantula hawk, I think it's tarantula hawk, but if you look these things up, dude, I'm not even kidding, they're probably about as big as my palm, and then on top of that, they're pretty beautiful, but their whole goal is they kill fucking tarantulas. And how they do it is they come down and they sting the tarantula and paralyze it. And they put it in a paralysis state, but they don't kill it. They drag it to its den. And then they lay its uh, they lay its eggs inside of the tarantula while it's still alive. And then leave. And the, tr uh, the eggs hatch and eat the tarantula while it's still alive from inside out. Fucking brutal. And basically, yeah, like an American Steve Irwin, except he actually gets stung by a shit ton of stuff. I don't know if Steve Irwin got stung by a shit ton of stuff. That is so freaky. What the hell? <laughs> Shoot. Mother Nature is brutal. Like... She ain't playing around, you know? They're they're super cool though. Um I actually got to witness one do it, which is pretty cool. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Why you gotta do him dirty like that? My man's was just my man's was just minding his own business. And you just did him dirty like that. <laughs> Damn. But nah, it, uh, the dude's pretty pretty cool. If you look him up, uh, <clears throat> you can look up like coyote something or. You can even just look up the normal, like, oh, hey, do get stung by something, and I guarantee you he'll pop up. Do you have a guild on it? Uh, no, I do not, actually. Uh, like, in captivity? No idea. <laughs> I ain't doing him dirty. It's the truth. <laughs> Sadly, it is. He, he was such a nice guy, though. That's the sad part. Yeah, check it out. His his videos are actually pretty interesting. He's, he uh he like so I don't know if you know anything about a uh, an, a lionfish. Uh, they're the ones with all the spines. They have like the stripes, and they're like their uh I almost said wings. Jesus, their fins come out almost like a mane. Uh, I used to have a guild, but it fell off the face of the earth. That makes sense. Yeah. They all fell off the face of the earth. <laughs> like, all of them. Sadly. Oh, I know. 
You watched the tarantula thingy in captivity? Oh, oh, oh. No, it was in the wild. Uh, so I'm, I'm in California right now. And in, in California, there is a good amount of them. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so lionfish, right? So he, he uh, I don't know if you know this, but you know how lionfish are super, super poisonous? <clears throat> if you guys get get pricked by one of their fucking fins, uh, like, very, very bad news. Especially, like, the further it goes in, the more, um, the more poison that hits you. Well, he actually, uh, he actually does it. Like, he fucking chops the side of it and... He ends up having to go to the hospital. <laughs> Son of a bitch is fucking insane. Can't say much about it. I only ever go to Disneyland, which I don't think it counts. <laughs> hey, in my opinion, Disney World's better than Disneyland in, in Florida. That's just my opinion. No, no, no. He didn't, he didn't die. He, uh... He does some really sketchy shit that you'd think he'd die from, but he actually, he's perfectly fine. He just makes a shit ton of money. He's really, he's really informational. Like, he actually teaches you a lot about it, which is, it's pretty damn cool. I already have my shit good. Now we see the uh, the XP and gold just come in. You ready for this shit? Watch this. Here it comes. Now we watch the gold come in even more. <laughs> <laughs> Almost got a half uh half a level out of the actually I, I think I did get a half a level out of that one. He reminds me of this one British guy who had a show called Deadly Sixty Australian TV. Oh. He would like do a countdown and hold and mess with the most deadliest animals in the world. Oh that's insane. Yeah, that's that's kind of like what he does, except he actually gets stung and shit by these things. And you just see him lose his shit after every single one. And it's super satisfying. Oh my goodness. I love turning in that qu the quests on this. It's ridiculously satisfying. <laughs> That's basically what I do to like level up on here and um, fucking get gold, especially like especially when there's a gold um, what's gonna call it? Especially when there's a gold uh, booster or like an XP booster for the server, <laughs> I do it 24/7. Cause that's without a gold booster from the server. With the gold booster from the server, each and every one of those turn-ins is fucking 25,000 gold. Or yeah, 25,000 gold. Super nice, and it's super good XP as well, which is which is pretty handy down. Yeah, it, it works awesome. A lot of people, I, I really think this place is like underrated because not too many people, you know, do it actually. Which you know, it's surprising in my opinion. Because like, in case you didn't just notice, like obviously it works out well. Now I know XP, there's another place, it's like some ice place, but you have to be like level 75 to start there. And like this, you can come at any level, I'm pretty sure. You just have to get through the quest line, which quest line's like that. It's easy as hell. Yeah, 
haven't seen this yet on the stream. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it does work. Like, look, this quest that I just turned in, like, every time you do it, it's like 37, 38-ish thousand XP. And it's just from killing 12 of these guards. Like, that alone is good XP. And then, you know, every time you turn in these, it's its own shit as well. I only wish the kills would stack a shit ton, but they don't. Cause then it would really fly by. Oh my eye. But yeah, it's super, super interesting like watching those shows like where the guys get their shit kicked out of them or like they get their shit fucking ra rocked by a damn animal or insect. Cause it's fascinating like just watching to see what the animal or uh, insect does. And then watching uh, like their reaction to it and seeing them like just lose their shit. But it's also like it's super nice to learn about those things because like you don't learn about lionfish, you don't learn about you know tarantula hawks and tarantulas and fucking uh, like sharks and how they work and such. Like you just you don't learn that in, in school. You have to do that on your own. Turn that in, huh? Creeps you out a lot too, thinking about how much pain. In. <laughs> yeah, like what's what's insane is uh, so if you truly think about it, getting stung and seeing someone like lose their shit that bad, just think about like he knew it was coming. You know what I'm saying? Like he knew that shit was gonna happen, and like oh he's gonna get stung or something like that. No, most of the time when you get stuck and shit. Hell no, like your ass is not like, oh, I hey, look at that trench log that's going to land on me and, st uh, and sting me. No, no, like you straight up are sitting there like, oh, <laughs> ow, that didn't feel good. <laughs> they must have the highest pain. Yeah, well, either, either they must have the highest because like, all right, this is how I look at it. You technically don't need to have like the highest pain tolerance, but like even even like gaining it. Uh, over time from like so much pain I think it's more along the lines of like you don't get used to the pain but you felt it before and you understand it and so now that you felt that before it's kind of just like eh whatever like other things that would actually hurt you're just like yeah whatever <laughs> like you break a finger you're just like <laughs> your fingers all bent you're like eh whatever <laughs> supposed to get pain. yeah look if you looked at me and you said, hey, I'll pay you a million dollars a year if you fucking just get stung and bit by everything, I don't give a fuck. Let's go. <laughs> like, drop that shit and, like, I don't care. I will go find the animals myself and I will just fucking get rocked by them. I don't care. Now, I will say this, though. I don't think I could do, like, leeches and shit like that. Like, I don't know. That shit's just super nasty to me. Even if, like, they're, they're straight up, oh, yeah, we know these are perfectly fine and safe. Like, nah. 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 That's not happening. Which, actually, little known fact... <clears throat> Yeah, no, no, we'll, we'll come here anymore, though. This could be your calling to a new job. You already have the... No! <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I'm just saying this, like, look. Leeches, they big nasty, okay? They are. But you also have to think of it like this. Back in the medieval days, like, just think about this. I think come back to playing this game after... T right? Right, Aussie Knight? Like, look. I used to play this shit back in like 2011, all right? <laughs> uh, you should definitely come back and just play it some. Because all I'm saying is the level cap is now 100. 
And the lore itself, the lore is just ridiculous. They've added so much to the game, and it's just so worth coming back and getting hit with every single bit of emotion. <laughs> Thinking of when you used to play it. But anyway, back in the day, um, back in the day, uh, during like the medieval times and shit, they actually believed that if you had a sickness, like a cold or anything like that, to put leeches on you. Because they would think that it would suck the, um, the sickness out of you. To be fair. Though, when we used to play, I was too young to know what was going on. Yeah, I mean, I was like 11 at the time, and like, I don't know, I, I understood, like, I had a good time. I was actually pretty decent at the game, too. Like, I had a lot of shit, too. I used to always play the Necromancer and just tear it up. I remember I was grinding for Shaman, nearly rank 8. Nice! Yeah, I got my shit to rank 10. That shit took a, a while, and I remember grinding for Shaman because it was so fucking ridiculous. This shit was a monster. Oh, hey, look, my wife snapshotted me. Nice. Is Shaman still good? So, Shaman is good. It's powerful, but the mana consumption is what screws it over. So, if you have someone like a Stone Crusher with you who can give you like those mana boosts and shit, you'll be fine. But, like, alone, the mana. The mana is rough. It's still super good, but the mana is very rough. But I, I enjoy it. I still use it. Um, I mean, not anymore because I got the Infinite Legion Darkcaster, which I enjoy the Infinite Legion Darkcaster. I think it's a super, 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 super fucking good class. At least for like a beginner or anything like that who who doesn't have a good class. Like, And it's super easy to get. It's just all on drop chance. How do you get that? Well, um, I can actually show you. It's super easy, my friend. After I snap my wife. <laughs> usually I don't. Usually I'm not on the phone when I stream. But I gotta make an exception for my wife. Because my wife's like halfway across the United States. So. <laughs> gotta talk it up, you know. So what you start off with is uh, you do slash join Legion Arena. And then it'll take you to this lovely place. You talk to this little boohoo. Click quest. And then you click this fucker right here. First class entertainment. See how I give you 240 legion tokens just for getting a brooch? Now once you have that. <laughs> once you have that. Go to whoever the hell's here with you. So we'll go to uh, this guy. And you'll see that they're all killing this fucker. Which it dies pretty quick honestly. But uh. What you do is you keep killing it nonstop until it drops a brooch, and then you just go back, turn it in, and keep redoing it nonstop until you have enough uh, legion tokens for it. It's only 2,000, so really you only have to do the quest like nine times, and you'll have the class. You can also get the other classes from it, and then if you want to, you can go grind out all these fucking armors and shit. Yeah, no problem. It's a super good class to start out with. It's really nice to have. And I enjoy it, at least. I use it all the time. <laughs> Guys, what is up, man? Welcome back. <laughs> you, as, you as well, Princess Scory. Actually, I don't remember if you if you actually ever typed in the chat. I just remember that you followed me like a week ago. Do you have to do the other quest? Or no, I, I don't think you do. Um, I really don't remember. I'll be 100% honest. Uh, but I'm pretty positive you do not have to. Watch this. Ready for this? Best Snapchat in the world right here. Yeah, you like that? That's pretty good, huh? 
God, I hate that. <laughs> it's red for some reason. Um, maybe do the quest before it. It shouldn't be too hard, honestly. I haven't. Uh, I was lurking for a while. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Hey, there's no problem with lurking, you know. If you, if you just like chilling and watching, like I'm a. All right, I'm a very talkative person. It's very hard to shut me up. Okay, like you just. The, the chat will just have to be like, hey, shut up. <laughs> but, like, I could talk for days on days on days, all right? That's why I like streaming. It's just fun. Like, I don't ever really get that many people who watch my uh, my stream. But when I do Adventure Quest Worlds, I get, a, I get a good amount of people. And I enjoy it. Like, I love talking to people. I love playing. And I love having a good time. Does your wife stream too? <laughs> no, uh, she doesn't stream as well. Uh, she, she definitely makes fun of me with my streams, but she, uh, she does like to game, but she doesn't stream. I'm the first in my family to stream. <laughs> Some people might say that, uh, that's an accomplishment. I'm used to it, though. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it passes time by, you know, and like, I'm just a big talk. Yeah, it's time to turn this in. You ready? You ready for this? You ready for this? Here it comes. So satisfying. Yeah, not many people play. I mean, how do I say this? A, a good amount of people still do play. Like the the player market's around like. 5,000 or something like that, which is not bad for a game this old. Like, come on. But not many people... Yeah, we the dedicated few, right? Not many people stream. And I mean... It's good for me, you know? So I'm... I'm fine with that. <laughs> it helps when you work in front of a screen by yourself all day. What do you do? What do you do for a living? Say some dumb shit like stream as well. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not not many people stream it. That's good for me though. You know, I like it. <laughs> that's that's what I like to see. You know. Oh shit! I'm still getting attacked. Oops. Gas attendant gang, I can watch streams all day and no one will care. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Someone rolls up, they're like, "Hey, can I get a? Uh, can I get ten gallons of regular?" You're just like, "Hang on, hold on a second. <laughs> what are you? What are you watching? It's like, oh, I'm, I'm watching this dude uh, pull too spicy, play some Adventure Quest Worlds. Dude gets out of his car. Oh yeah, let me see. Uh, yeah, I uh, used to watch a girl named Rachel play. Look, nothing against women. All I'm saying is if I could do this and play a van damn video game and have people fucking pay me for it, I'd do it too. But instead, no. No, I can't do that. I'm a guy, alright? That's how it works. <laughs> I work for politicians. I work as an assistant for a speechwriter. Whoa, fancy man. You wear some suits or what? I, gu I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you'd be washing some suits. Or washing some suits. You'd be fucking in a damn suit. You'd just be watching people stream. You're just like, yeah, I'm better than you. <laughs> Where is... There it is. <laughs> yeah. Look, all I'm saying is, gas attendant ain't a bad job, all right? If it makes the money, it makes the money, you know? It's a good experience. I mean, yeah, you probably meet a shit ton of people, you know? Like, I, I'm not the most biggest people person, but all I'm saying is, uh, I don't mind talking to people, having a good time. I love, you know having a good time but all I'm saying is if you stupid I don't like you <laughs> I don't like stupid people uh, suits <laughs> I work from home mostly more like PJs hey that's fire 
I would I'd love to work at home. Legit's the same start and by the time it's 650 I'm done with everything I need to do for the day. Hourly pump cleaning, which takes two minutes to The rest is just waiting and dealing with boomers. Don't know how to pump gas. Damn. Hey, that sounds like a life. Shit. My day my day starts at 4.30 in the morning. And then I get to work at 6 in the morning. I then have to work until... Usually, I work on like a, a normal day. I'll work until like 3-ish, 4-ish p.m. And then I'll get off. Get a lot of creepy old guys, but they mean well. <laughs> Interviewing for an all-woman office soon. Nice. How do I get to Dage? Well, see, look, we're gonna look, Ozzy. I got you. I'm gonna ask my best friend Google, right? Super smart guy. Trust me on this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Type slash join underworld and then find Dage the Evil and introduce yourself. Yeah. How do I gauge? Oh, I don't know. Seems like a gig. Underworld, I think I get paid nothing to get spammed <laughs> emails 24 7. That makes sense. <laughs> What's up, Chin Short? See? He be knowing. <laughs> Play Gangnam Saw. <laughs> No problem, man. But yeah, um, I mean, see, I get I get paid on a on a salary, so I get paid every two weeks, which is nice. It just sucks because you know when you work all them extra hours, you're just sitting there like, huh? It sounds like a pain. I like my human interaction levels being close to nil. <laughs> See, like I'm telling you, I don't, I don't mind. I really don't mind. You can come up to me and you can be the nicest person ever, and I don't know you. You're like, hey man, how's it going? I'm like, oh, pfft, hey, what's up? You know, you fucking, you chilling? How's life? You know, I don't care. But if you come up to me and you're like, hey, I ordered a burger and I didn't get my fries with it. I'm so angry. I'm gonna sue you. I'm just gonna look at you and be like, shut up. <laughs> shut your face. Shut your trap. Shut your fucking sock. Like. <laughs> Gotta do what you, yeah, you do gotta do what you gotta do, sadly. Alright, alright. So, let's... We're gonna play the numbers game. Y'all ready for this? We're gonna see who's got the, the most prestige here. Now, I swear to God. I'm probably gonna lose. Oh, yeah. Disarm and angry boomers. That's what I like to hear. The best way to disarm them. Pull the pump out, spray him with gas, light a match, poof, problems are gone. <laughs> Alright, who here has worked the longest in the job that they are presently doing? Okay, I'm pushing four years now. Not that long, yeah, yeah, I know. But what, what about you guys, how long you been doing the gas pump attendant? And then uh, Princess Scory, you been doing, I don't even know what to say that, that your, your, your politician uh, speech writer. <laughs> Which, I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know how the hell you get into a job like that. One year this month now. Start putting on the full accent, they don't know what the fuck I'm saying and it throws them off. Me to figure out. <laughs> nice. Four months. Alright, I got the most prestige, we said it. Don't care anymore. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, straight up, uh... Yeah, actually, hold on. How do you even get into a job like that? I, all right, you have got to be in debt. There's no way. There's no way you're not in debt for a politician like type job with having so much fucking college. I started working the moment I got work authorization. Oh God, you got a fucking injury or what, dude? Are you fucking? Uh, you from a different country? Green card gang, yo, there it is. <laughs> you fucking, you Mexican from Mexico or what? 
And yes, I say that because I have so many fucking Mexican friends that have green cards, and I love fucking with them about it. Aussie. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're Aussie. I totally forgot. See, it's been that long. That's how I know I haven't streamed. Well, I have streamed, but I haven't been able to stream too much lately. It's okay, though. I make it up for y'all, you know? Hey, actually, this weekend, I don't know if y'all are down um, or if y'all are interested in it at all, but uh, this weekend, I'm going to be playing the new Battlefield. So that's going to that's gonna be interesting. I've heard horrible, and I've heard good things about it. So we're going to see how it works and uh, see if I can't break a keyboard. I mean, not Rage. My wife's a journo. Uh, I got mad connection. How do I get my... <laughs> Let me finish high school last year. Let me know my dad knows. The writers. Damn. Got the daddy connections. <laughs> Hey, it's okay. You know what? I finished high school four years ago, so I got you. This chat is almost... <laughs> yeah, you fucking Aussies better not be taking over my chat, alright? I'm not gonna be hearing, Oh, come to the fucking Outback Steakhouse every five seconds. Look at the mayor of my town now. You Damn! Man, y'all making me feel like I'm shit. Oh, fuck. Here it comes. <laughs> don't, fuck, don't start, motherfucker. <laughs> don't fucking start. We already have me. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Refresh this chat. Just praise Aussies are clean. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Actually, look, I may be 22, but I'll be right back. I'm about to be getting me a nice little drink here. Capri Suns are fucking fire. <laughs> you can call me a damn kid. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Got it. <laughs> Why is this so hard? Nice. I'll fuck your dad. You okay? All right. You know. <laughs> you know what, guys? I can get in on this because you know what I do all the time. So I'm married, right? I walk around and people look at me and they're just like, "Hey, hey, man, how you doing today?" I'm like, "Oh, you know, just doing the same old same. I'm gay." <laughs> and it catches people off all the time. These juices are amazing. We got, we got strawberry kiwi. Australia living in GA, yup. Man. Wow. A deja vu just hit me, gents. I'm drinking a Capri Sun. The thing that I used to drink when I was young. And I'm playing Adventure Quest Worlds. The thing I used to play when I was young. <laughs> We're making it. This is how you know adulting is hard. <laughs> I remember getting up before school to play. Yeah. Well, actually, so I don't know if you can anymore, but I remember. Um, no, I'm some married migrant fucker. <laughs> I remember uh, when I would play, I actually played at a library. 
I would go into the library and I would use their uh, their computer every day. Man, those are some good times. Flashbacks to like the childhood are, are some of the best though. Like, you know, as long as you didn't have like a dad that would throw you out of a fucking window of a five story building or something, you know. <laughs> or like a mom who would just burn you with cigarettes. Like, other than that, you know. Okay, well, that's not bad. I actually, I had that too, uh, kind of. See, so my brother's six years older than me. So I played the card, you know what I'm saying? Like, I knew damn well, and I wasn't, I wasn't one of them younger brothers, I was like, eh, mom, mom, this, no, 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 I was the dude that was like, hey, I'm gonna play, and you're not gonna do anything about it, and he's like, you realize I can just beat the shit out of you, and I was like, come on, what's up, what's up, <laughs> and my brother would come at me, and i just pop him once in the mouth, it wouldn't even hurt him, but I'd pop him once in the mouth, and he'd get pissed off, and he'd Pop me right in the head. Then I go, <laughs> and then I'd run downstairs to go tell my mom and dad. <laughs> but you know what? It's not my fault, all right? Because he would take all of the time. That motherfucker would screech. <laughs> See, I'd, I'd have reasons to cry. Like, I'm not even kidding. My brother picked me up one time by my legs and slammed me against the wall. <laughs> I got up, kicked him in the nuts, and started crying and ran downstairs. <laughs> oh, fuck. Good times. <laughs> right? Like, I didn't get my first phone until 7th grade. And I'm about to hit you with a fucking uh, a, a blast of the past. But my phone was one of those slide with keyboards. You know what I'm talking about? Those old ass phones, ooh. I love that damn phone. That thing is like indestructible too because I'm pretty sure it was like a Nokia <laughs> or something. This old ass, oh this one. Yeah! But it was like a fucking prick. <laughs> I had, uh, I think my first like touch screen phone was when I was a freshman in high school. Cause it was like if you didn't have that, you were an outcast. Which I didn't care, but still. No, it wasn't a Blackberry. It was, uh, cause it like, it looked like a Blackberry, but then you could slide it up and like to the side a keyboard would come out. And like my first one was like a very small iPhone and I did not like iPhones and then ever since then I've just gotten Androids, Androids, Androids. Never had anything similar to that. I was a little older when I got my first one. That makes sense. I I was like what? Seventh grade I was I was probably thirteen, I think. Something like that. I don't Blackberry until I was in the last few years of high school. I mean, hey, if it works, it works. See, I made, I was lucky though, I'll be honest. During, during high school, um, I made a deal with my parents that uh, I didn't have to work. And I just had to concentrate on like sports and football, uh, not football, sports and um, fucking my schooling. And as long as I went into the military after high school, I wouldn't have to pay bills. I wouldn't have to pay for gas. I wouldn't have to work. I still got a job, but because I wanted money, but like I didn't have to do any of it. Uh, I went up homeschooling the last few years, but I ended up getting some HTC <laughs> phone. Homeschooling, I don't know how people do it. Like I, I feel like being a parent alone is already hard, and then like now you're homeschooling them. Like, damn, you know what I mean? Like, props on the parents. 
Wish I was 11 in seventh grade. What? Hold on. All right. Let me let me think then. I probably did my math wrong. So I was 17 when I graduated. So 16, 15, 14, 13. No, I was 12. Yeah. All right. So I was 12 and uh, I was 11 ish 12 when I was in seventh grade then. How is different to America? Really? How so? How is it? How is it different? Went through a school and they'd send these weekly work packets. I arguably did more than students. Oh damn! That's that's actually pretty smart. So it's like you're basically doing everything you would in school, except you are um you're just you don't have a teacher. You don't go to school and shit. Capri Sun. <laughs> oh fuck wrong pipe <coughs> we had teachers emails and numbers and stuff oh alright yeah that's actually that's super interesting I, I actually super like that called the math teacher if I was being a dumbass yeah I, I really like that but don't, wouldn't you ever get like tired of being home? Oh, nice! My best level in the game right here, gents. Might quit the game now and leave it like that forever. And eh, not really. I was super introverted, so being home didn't matter. You know what? Hey, I get it. I loved I loved staying home, playing video games. My buddies would invite me out. I'd, I'd go out every now and then, but like, I just like chilling at home. Yeah, video games. It's yeah, no sleep schedule too. Oh, whoa, 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 wait, whoa, whoa. All right, so I damn well remember I used to play World at War, Black Ops, uh, fucking Black Ops Two, um, Modern Warfare Three, Modern Warfare Two, like fucking crazy. Those were the times right there. Especially Modern Warfare 3. Oh, that game hit me so hard. See, I oh, I played a lot of Rainbow Six Siege too though. But I didn't have a computer. I had uh I had the Wii to begin with. Yeah, I played Black Ops on the Wii, gents. Uh I had the Wii and then it went from the Wii to a PlayStation or I had a PlayStation 2 as well, like the original Xbox. But I had, um, I had a PlayStation 3, and then I went to Xbox One, and then I went to PC. Because I, I just got this PC this year. Like, I just built it back in, like, July. Because I've always wanted to stream and shit, and I just, I never got around to it. It was just so much money, and I was worried about, you know, committing to something like that. Damn, Gauze, you fucking smartass. <laughs> fucking <laughs> three weeks worth to work in just a day or two. Damn, good on you. Good on you, dude. I fucking, I love that. I, like, look, y'all can shun me. Y'all can call me crazy and everything. I actually loved school. I really did. I loved learning and I liked doing everything. I, I hated doing dumb shit that didn't make any sense. But, like, like, I loved physics. I love, I hate, I didn't have too much fun in science. But I loved, like, just learning things. I loved history. I loved math. Um... I loved English because I loved writing. I used to be able to write crazy good. Just high school, really. Makes sense. But, like, at the end of the day, like, you know, if, if you got your fucking, your schooling, like, your, your very basic schooling done, like, that's all you need. I do, too. I, um... I want to do college really bad, but I don't want to do college over the phone, you know? Like, I want to be there in person and actually have a professor and all that shit. 
played in high school or anything. I've been current height since like <laughs> eight. But like all those people were degenerates. Uh, yeah, I had when I was in seventh grade. I was like five foot one, and I weighed like a hundred pounds. My senior year, I was six foot, and I weighed 132 pounds. And then I got into my current job, and then three months later of being in my current job, I was six one or six one or six two ish, and I weighed 160 like five pounds. <laughs> Damn, son. Yeah, I wish. See, I wish I was a big fuck. Like I. I eat like oh, close to 4,000 calories a day and work out on the daily, and I can't gain weight to save my fucking life. I'm just going to school for six hours, seeing your friends all day, and not having to work boring jobs, right? I mean, I kind of still see my friends at work all the time and just get paid for it. Five three since I was twelve. Oh no, rip. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Are you five three and like at least like toned? Like you, you know, you fucking, you looking good or you, do you look like an oompa loompa? <laughs> That's the big question. <laughs> what is going on on my screen? Okay, yeah, animations are getting turned off. I gotta lose me some. See, I wish. I wish I was ready to lose weight. Like right now, I'm about six foot two and I weigh about 170, 175 ish. And I, I wanna hit 200. Her sister is like a foot taller. <laughs> See, that's okay though. Like, that's good that you're at least small. Like, at least it, uh, at least it matches your height, you know? Hey, all right, I'm a runner too. Cause like all I'm saying is, <laughs> when you see some of those those guys or girls or whatever who are like five foot two, but they look like a oompa loompa. Like I'm talking, if they ran and they fell, they bouncing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when they hit the ground, you you gotta feel bad for them. Cause like they're getting the worst of both worlds. <laughs> Weights right now, but my arms just hurt and I'm seeing no gains. So, word of advice from a guy who's worked out since he was in seventh grade. Yeah, talk some shit. I know I'm not big. Fuck you guys. But, uh, <laughs> sensitive subject. No, uh, word of advice the biggest thing about uh, weightlifting, if you're wanting to get bigger or more toned, it's your diet. <laughs> Willy Wonky. <laughs> it's Willy Wonka. <laughs> But no, yeah, you, you just have to stretch every time and you always have to like eat smart, like eat, eat healthy. Like if you're trying to bulk, then you obviously have to eat up on certain, you know, gr uh, food groups. But like if you're fucking eat, if you're wanting to like gain a shit ton of weight like me, I have to eat, like I carb load a lot. I fucking, I take my protein shakes a lot. Like I calorie, uh, I count my calories. Um, I fucking go hella protein. Um, then like... If you want to lose weight, like, you know, cutting. That's a huge fucking thing. The natural ape strength. Yeah, go fuck yourself, guys. How's that sound? Like, <laughs> some people aren't born lucky. You know what I'm saying? Some people, uh, like me, are just fucking small. And they have to fucking go to the gym and just die. <laughs> hey, I say, I say it's genes. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the genes. <laughs> hey, what's up, Fred? How's it going, man? It's all about the genes, though. That That is exactly what it is. I'm a fat lad, but I got some muscle somewhere under there. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's okay to be fat, too. You know, like, I ain't, I ain't gonna dog anyone for being fat. Like, that takes, that takes some skill, too. I hate food. Like, I hate eating. But 
what if you don't wear jeans? Ah, yeah, the naked approach. You know, hey, I'm fine with being naked in public. No, I'm just kidding. I am not doing that. Uh, <laughs> okay, actually, if you're too fat to wear jeans, though, you got a problem. You might have to make yourself some jean shorts, you know what I'm saying? All right, Capri Sun. This is gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna buy Capri Suns, and I'm gonna drink a Capri Sun like every stream. I don't care. <laughs> Ain't too bad, I reckon. <laughs> Look, I. I have a very high metabolism. You said it's all about the genes. <laughs> Jeans with a G. G E N E. I think that's how you spell jeans, right? Not, not pants. Tonight's. Alright, tonight's one of those nice jeans. Man, it is hot. What do I have it on in here? Oh, it's on 70. Well, it's on 74 now. You know, it's probably because I'm wearing a hoodie and pants. That would make sense. Damn. <laughs> All right, guys. Have fun. Uh, have fun filling up some fuel, man. <laughs> Remember, it goes in the hole. <laughs> Six cents for detecting if my wife is mad for no. Oh shit! Look, word of advice, word of advice before you go. Best thing you could do ever when you got a mad wife. Cook her some food. Women love food. It does. Or order her some food. It don't matter. You get her food. She's happy. Happy wife. Happy life. Easy day. This man just... Fred! I'm not that small! <laughs> He'll make my neighbors come over here have a fucking complaint. <laughs> Shut up, Nightbot. Nah, no, thanks, Nightbot. I appreciate you, buddy. <laughs> before, I can't be trusted cooking. <laughs> Alright, guys. Have a good night, man. Look, all I'm saying is, actually, actually, hold on. Y'all want to see some shit? Watch this. I'm about to blow your mind. Alright, so look, check this out. This is one of my protein powders. Check this out. It's sweet potato pie. Who the fuck makes a powder that tastes like sweet potato pie? Fred! <laughs> Fred! Calm down, dog! Fred, you're spitting, you're spitting flame on me, and I like it. <laughs> hey, look on the bright side, though. I think I, I think I'd much rather have a chair like this, fit for a kid, than using a goddamn desk chair. Yeah, I know. Don't worry. The, the love is real. That's all that matters. Or is he? Uh oh. God damn it! That scares the fuck out of me every time. <laughs> Appreciate the follow though, Fred. <laughs> you you must. You must just go buy it. You have to. <laughs> you have to force yourself into a GNC or something. Yeah, you see you see Fred flaming me over here? Listen <laughs> I'm over here playing Adventure Quest Worlds. <laughs> I'm, he said I'm in a kid's chair. I'm drinking a Capri Sun. 
God damn. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna drink my Capri Sun in peace, alright? Alright, you know we used to all do this though. Come on. Come on. Gotta admit, you hit the profile, bro. What do you mean? He said, bruv. He said, bruv. <laughs> you British and Australian fucks. I swear to God. <laughs> like. <laughs> I'm getting invaded 24-7. <laughs> Yeah, he, Fred, Fred woke up this morning and he was like, all right, whose day am I going to fuck up today? <laughs> Uh-oh. All right, what are you, Fred? Are you American? Survey says, what's wrong with this? <laughs> you know what? There's a whole lot of shit. My name, my name on here is Pool Too Spicy. There's a lot of shit wrong with us. It's like almost 4 a.m. Um. Japan. If not Japan. Um. What's other places like that? Yeah, actually, it might be in South America. I don't know what South America's fucking uh, time uh, time is. It's probably same, honestly. No, I really cannot think of anything else. It's like 4 a.m. right now, and I'm too damn lazy to look it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 6.45 p.m. here, and I like it. Oh! Almost just got schwacked. like noon in Asia. Um, where in Europe is he? Let's see. Closer than Japan. <laughs> uh, so he's not in France. He's not in fucking anywhere in Asia. He said he's in, okay. Let's see. Are you anywhere near Italy? He said he wasn't. He said he wasn't UK, because he wasn't. He wasn't Australian or British. I really don't know. Germany's a good answer, actually. More north than Italy. Uh, it's getting hot now. <laughs> um, okay, so it's near Germany then. Ireland's a good guess, actually. That was going to be my next one. No, I don't think he'd be Pol- Actually, I know a lot of people from Poland that actually come on these streams. God damn it. He's- you're guessing better than I am. All right, you know what? We're doing this. I got this. <laughs> Denmark. Denmark, huh? Interesting. I've never, never met anyone from Denmark. I like that. 
What's uh actually what's it like there? I don't know anything about Denmark actually. Denmark. And that's like a such it's such like out of the way <laughs> flat. <laughs> is it is it snowing there? Oh, it's rainy. Crazy drinking habits. <laughs> nice. Oh, there's level 70. I mean, nowadays, who who doesn't have drinking habits? Like, granted, I, I don't drink. I don't fucking do any nicotine or any of that bullshit. I don't know. I just, not a big fan of it. Like, I will, but I got to take care of myself. But... Now, I know a shit ton of people who are fucking just alcoholics. Denmark, though. That's pretty cool. You're, you're the first person I've ever met that was from Denmark. I like that. They, okay, well, do they, do they at least have some pretty good alcoholic drinks up there? Like, do they make some pretty good alcohol? Ooh. Australia is home for teen drinking. My job is home for teen drinking habits. Like, I'd say <clears throat> nine out of every ten that work at my job drink horribly, like alcoholic wise. Fuck the taste. We just get hammered and have fun. All right, I can, I can feel that. I feel that. See, I'm a, I'm more of a. I enjoy. I enjoy the taste. I'm 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 very big on that. Uh, I like dark beers every now and then. I'm, I'm more of a light beer person, and I'm a hard liquor person. If I do drink, I love like vodka. Vodka is some of my favorite. They're going out tonight, and I'm the babysitter. <laughs> See, I'm always I'm always babysitting my friends. <laughs> I gotta make sure they're all good. And then if my wife's with me, then she's babysitting me. <laughs> <clears throat> I think I think one of my favorite drinks though is definitely um definitely gonna have to say fucking vodka. I like vodka and like sweet tea and shit. I'm a very like sweet drink kind of person. Always been that way. Drink wine and beer, but that's about it. See I've I've always wanted to like drink wine, and I know I know that sounds like weird, like what the fuck, but like I, I just don't like it. It's like super bitter to me, and I just not a big fan of it. Never have been. Had an unlucky drinking experience, so can't take the smell of rum and sometimes the taste of vodka. That's understandable, Fred. I get that. Big group of drunk girls around the valley is going to be not. But they buy me dinner in return. <laughs> Actually, um, you know where alcohol is super expensive? Japan. Everything's expensive there because, you know, everything's imported. But, like, damn, is it expensive up there. It's an acquired taste. I, I mean, I liked it. I've always liked vodka. Beer is definitely an acquired taste. You have to admit on that one, on that part. Yeah, we'll kill fucking four more of them and then we'll go ahead and do something else. We've been here a little over an hour. We leveled up like three times though, so. Sure. How much is it for us? Here? Or in Japan? So I'll be honest, I don't know in Japan, but I know here it's like, I think it's like 30 bucks. Wait, I'll just look it up really quick.
Let's see. Because, you know, it all, all depends on, like, the brands as well. Yeah. So about about 30 to 40 bucks where I'm uh, where I am in California right now. A decent $20. See, yeah, so so that makes sense. All right. Let's see what are we going to do? Oh, look, trudging. Decent bottle over here can get into the 50s. Yeah, damn. We'll see. So, do you ever, uh, Princess, do you ever have fucking American military uh, in Australia? So, I'm in the States. I'm in California right now. That makes sense. Makes sense. What do you think? Should we go for all the skulls? <laughs> I kind of want to. Um, not that I know of. Because I know a lot of American military goes to Australia a lot. I have a lot of buddies who, who've gone to Australia with that. Where do we have to go again? War and dead, that's right. I'm currently trying to cut down my alcohol use. Do I only drink on days and... You know that's that's pretty that's pretty good, man. Like, and y you should, in all honesty, because like, like alcohol is fun and everything, but man, first of all, that shit can get expensive, and I know you would agree with me on that. And then on top of it being expensive as fuck, like, look, that shit is bad for you, especially over time. Like that shit will fuck you up. Vampire Lord. I'm 18, so it's only my first year of legally drinking, so I haven't been out much. Yeah, so that's actually funny. Uh, I forgot that they do that in Australia, the 18 rule. <clears throat> in uh, in America, you know, it's 21. Don't all days end with. <laughs> I mean, sometimes he hasn't figured it out yet. Wow, Jesus, that's insane. That's really insane. Hey, what's up, Savage? How's it going, man? Welcome to the uh, the amazing conversation. <laughs> what a wonderful time to hop in. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna change back. I like the animations. My family's friend, who's like almost three years older than me, I was able to drink before him because he's American. Yeah, that makes sense. It's 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 pretty insane. But I mean, I'll, I like the rule. It keeps fucking dudes doing some dumb shit. Some people do some really fucking dumb shit. Especially when they're drunk. And it's not even like, oh, ha ha, ha that's funny. No, like, some of it's like, bro, what in the hell are you doing? <laughs> first time I got hammered <laughs> when I was 14. I don't remember the first time I got hammered. You get it? Now, I actually do not remember the first time I ever had alcohol before and got fucking squasted. 
I feel like it was around like seventh or eighth grade though, in all honesty. Cause like for some reason seventh and eighth grade we really like a lot of people drank, and then like my my high school years I really didn't do it that much. I didn't party that much in high school because I just didn't want to. Europeans go hard. <laughs> yeah, obviously, yeah, they, they, they do, apparently. Sons of bitches be going all out. Hey, yo. <laughs> What's up, Synchro? Welcome to the fucking chat, man. We got RSA laws here, so it's good people get the crazy... Okay, I like that actually. That's that's pretty. That's reasonable. Back when I was 16, I got hospitalized from. Damn. See, that shit's scary though. Like you gotta be careful with fucking alcohol poisoning because you gotta get your stomach pumped. Yep. See, that shit's fucking insane. Oh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> How's it going? get pills mostly see they had uh I had, I had a buddy he had to do that shit and um i also had a buddy i put fucking i had to put an iv in him because he, he got really stupid and couldn't handle fucking the alcohol i'm gonna deny him because a nurse shoved a thermostat on my ass <laughs> he got plugged <laughs> It's illegal here to serve people who are visibly drunk. I'm pretty sure it's illegal in America, actually, as well. Um, I'm pretty sure, uh, like, if you're drunk and the uh, the bartender just keeps serving you and you are to leave um, and, like, something was to happen, like, you did something uh, bad, like, you drunk drove or something, I'm pretty sure the bar is responsible, uh, as long as you are as well. But I think the bar has consequences from it as well. They don't pump uh, anywhere where I live. In Denmark, it's mostly just pills to make you puke. I got a salt water drop. Interesting. Yeah, Fred. Fuck. Okay. Synchro, you're the second person I've ever met that's from fucking Denmark now. <laughs> Thanks, Nightbot. Appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> uh, yeah, some people just ruin it by chugging hard. Like, yeah, for real. Like, man, sip it. Or not, not sip it. Take some shots. Enjoy yourself. You know, you know. Don't go get hammered in the first five minutes, and then like, woo! And then ten minutes later, you're on the ground puking and just passed out. Like, I don't, I don't know how people have fun with that. In my opinion, we Danes love us. <laughs> Good AQW. <laughs> you know what? Hey, I respect that. I love, I love Adventure Cross Worlds. I always have, even when I was a kid. Even when I like would never play this game, I was always like thinking about it. Like, man, I wonder how that game's doing. You can get fined thousands and thousands just for damn. Can't recommend snorting vodka. That shit hurt pretty it hard. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would, uh, I would assume so. I, I get your nostril had to have burning if you fucking snorted vodka. Like, your nostrils had to have been, like, on some shit after that. And it's not, like, a normal burn. It's got to be, like, that cold burn. You know what I'm talking about? It's so dumb. <laughs> it's not the smartest move. <laughs> hey, fuck it. You, gotta, you, gotta, you guys got to live up to your fucking ancestors, huh? Fucking ye old skull. Friend spent thousands on his Halloween party, and one guy ruined it by chugging multiple bottles of water. Damn. That's fucked. Uh, yeah, uh, apparently that's a thing. I did not know that was a thing. I've seen guys, like, snort pre-workout and shit like that, but I've never seen them, like, snort alcohol. Better you either get too hammered for the news, get somewhat paralyzed. I don't know. <laughs> Man, yeah, it makes sense. If you've been snorting vodka, you probably don't remember any of the times you did it.
You know what? I'm getting another Capri Sun. I don't care. Don't care. Motherfucker! They make these things so fucking hard to open. Nice. <laughs> Strawberry kiwi. I'll take it. Nice. Enjoy the look, gents. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Love the outfits. <clears throat> Y'all fucking You know Actually In Denmark Do y'all fuckers Do y'all get uh, It's gonna be stupid I know you get snow But like Do y'all get some like Heavy ass fucking snow Out there <laughs> Y'all get any snow? There's no way y'all don't get snow. I'd be really surprised if y'all don't. Ow. Oh. Maybe sometimes, but it's minimal. Alright, that makes sense then. See, I, um... The first time I ever saw snow and actually, like, made a snowball was when I was, like, 19. <laughs> Shitty Ohio. <laughs> yeah. See, uh, I, I used to live down in Texas, so like the very southern part of America, so I would never get snow. And like if it was, it was like little sprinkles, like it would never stick to the ground or anything. But I, I mean, I enjoyed the snow when I saw it in Korea. Like I had a good time. I've never been skiing. I've been I've been sledding with uh, cardboard boxes. <laughs> Ooh, coffee I like. I got me a fucking uh, Keurig that makes me some coffee. Mainly for the after ski, but still. What's uh what's after ski, Fred? I've never heard of that. I don't know what that is either. I don't even know how to say that. <laughs> I could say. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to say Oh, alright. I see you. I see you. <laughs> Go skiing and just gets fucking hammered afterwards. This reminded me I demolished this kid's sledding. <laughs> When I was young, <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> you know what? Kid probably had it coming, all right? <laughs> Fuck him. So we'll see before you start skiing. Interesting. See, I had uh, I had made like my first snowman in Korea. My fucking, I went sledding for the first time. Made a f snowball for the first time, which. I'm pretty dangerous with those damn snowballs, you know what I'm saying? If you have to go to Europe one time to go skiing, then I would I 
would say Austria. It's really the best pick. Interesting. Yeah, I've uh, I've never never gone skiing. I haven't been to Europe too much though. Like the only places I've ever been around the world are Korea, Japan, uh, Kuwait, Oman, Somalia, uh, Alaska. Well, technically anywhere in the United States. Um, I've been to Mexico. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. It's nasty at first, but when you get used to it, then it's fine. Oh, so it has an acquired taste. No, I just traveled. Uh, it's it's part of my job. All I did was travel through all those places. I've lived in the states all my life. You get robbed in Somalia? <laughs> no, we were we were in uh, the Horn of uh, Africa, aka the Somalia. Just and we had a we had a lot of shit. I actually. We were there, I think, January of this year, something like that. Waters are really pretty out there, though. I won't lie there. If your tea didn't, like, <laughs> she pour rum to the wood. Interesting. It's really rum with black tea. That's. That sounds interesting, actually. Uh, yeah, Savage, I am. I actually kind of want to try that. I'm not going to lie. It's called Gigarte. <laughs> Gigarte. Interesting. To kill the shivers when you're out and about. No. Really? And like, does it does it actually work? <laughs> like, like it it actually like keeps you from being cold, or like. I don't think it's that. That's. I can't believe that. That's insane, actually. That's... Damn. I do like rum, though. I like I like rum mixed drinks. I'm a, I'm a big fan of it. I'm not a big fan of rum alone, though. I'll be honest. I don't know why. Like, you mix it in with something? Oh, I like it most of the time. But, like... You tell me, like, hey, here's a shot of rum. <laughs> or, like, here's a fucking keg of rum. Just suck it. Nope. Can't do it. Don't know why. Just not a fan of it. It's kind of like wine to me. Oh, black tea, maybe that's why. Yeah, actually, like black tea, I'm I'm iffy on. You know, I'm back and forth on it. So that could be why. I liked uh, I like sweeter drinks most of the time. That's what I'm huge on. Like I love sweet drinks. Is it 7 Eleven? Uh, time 7 Eleven, nice. Yeah, I'll probably stream for like another hour 50. Be chilling with y'all. See, I, I like, I've always loved uh, like meeting people around the world and just fucking chilling and just talking to people. I don't know. That's, I think that's why I like streaming so much. It's just because, like, God damn, that scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> I appreciate the follow, Savage. I. I like, I trigger myself, because I'm a bitch when it comes to scary shit. <laughs> that fucking, that follow sound just scares the fuck out of me every time. Let's try, Le okay, y'all motherfuckers be saying some weird ass names. <laughs> Should try, Leverposte. <laughs> when and if you ever visit Denmark, I've seen foreigners puke over it. It's literally pig liver. Interesting. See, I'm all about that shit. Like, call me crazy, but, like, I love fucking, uh, I love trying random shit like that. You ever had, uh, fucking mountain oysters before? I've seen people puke over mountain oysters. Fuck. 
52 GP. Oh, interesting. Yeah, y'all ever have mountain oysters, boys? <laughs> no boss for me. <laughs> if you don't know what it is, it's fucking, it's, it's bull's nuts. It's bull's testicles. I love frog legs. I've had, um, I've had mountain oysters. I've had normal oysters. Who hasn't? Uh, I've had fucking horse. I've had camel. I've had kangaroo. Uh, I ate raw snake. Um, I ate a raw jellyfish. I've eaten so much random shit. That's just fucking like all over the world. I will say this though, when I was in Japan and like even Korea, but Japan was better for sushi in my opinion. Uh, I absolutely enjoyed their sushi over there and like they made some crazy shit. Like I'm not even kidding. I don't know what kind of jellyfish it was, but there's this one sushi. They literally took the seaweed wrap and then they put the rice in it and everything and they wrapped it around a legit jellyfish. Like it's a fucking thing that's that big. And you're supposed to fit the whole damn thing in your mouth. And I'm like, oh, hell no. <laughs> I've eaten. I've eaten. Sadly, I've done this. And I, I, I'm not too happy about it. Because, like, look, I ain't, I ain't one for abusing animals. You know, I ain't one of them little puss pusses that's like, you, you hurt the animal when someone makes a video. No, fuck that shit. But, like, I'm not big on, like, disturbing wildlife. Uh, but, like, I've eaten a live octopus before. And it's, like, really, really small. I wasn't, wasn't, it was nasty, and like, they're super dangerous, because like, it, when you eat them, if you're not careful, their suction cups will actually stick onto your throat, and they'll choke you, and like, you'll just die from fucking choking, and I'm like, talk about karma, but no, I, I tried it, and I just, it was the nastiest thing I think I'd ever done in my life, it felt super horrible afterwards, too. Doesn't that really depend on the size of the octopus? You know, you would think, right? Um, but like all of them that they had were like small, like they're really small. And no, it really doesn't because like all it takes is for it to slide down the right way and it fucking locks onto your throat and you're fucked. Cause like even, I don't know if you've ever held an octopus before, but even like the smallest of octopuses, dude, they're fucking suction on their damn, uh, on their, their suction cups, on their damn tentacles are fucking strong. Even the baby ones. And it's, it's just insane. You have to chew that shit to death. Actually, so, they told me no. They're like, oh yeah, you fucking just swallow it. Ah, uh -uh, I wasn't about that life. So I, I like cut it and like killed it before I ate it. Uh, cause I ain't about that, you know, eat something live and just swallow it alive. Cause like that shit crawling around, uh, -uh hell no. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I like killed it before and then I, I put it in and like, that's a good way to do it. But no, they were like, yeah, eat it alive. Eat it alive. I was like, hell no. Got me fucked up. <laughs> Um, I've had, what was it? I've had raw shark, actually. Gonna crawl back up, right? Or it's gonna crawl out your ass, you know? <laughs> gonna wipe his way out. <laughs> um, I've had raw shark, though. Like, we, we, we caught a shark, and I don't like fucking with sharks either, you know? Because I, I think they're really beautiful creatures. But, like, uh, they had actually caught this shark. And it wasn't going to make it if they put it back in the water because it was just so exhausted from the fight. And they tried to do it and it ended up dying on them. And so uh, they basically got permission. I don't know how they did it. They, I was young. Uh, they got their permission to do like all these things. And like they got to tag it or whatever. And they were allowed to actually um, take it. Dude, you'd be amazed. Like I said, I yeah, raw shark. I talk non-fucking-stop. You will talk to me about the most randomest of shit. 
I will go from like talking about some random doll that someone's daughter wants for Christmas to, oh yeah, you know, I fucking absolutely love fucking hitting kids with fucking uh, rocks. Like, no, I don't like doing that. But <laughs> some random ass shit. Who gives a fuck, you know? All right, there we go. Uh, yeah. So Savage, how how it worked actually is, so we had to, they had to cut the fins off, and they have to send it into this certain place because, um, like shark fin is illegal as fuck. Uh, but we actually cut like the back open, and it's like the muscle that's on the inside, and uh, we ate that shit. It was super good. I liked it. Uh. I'm I'm in the Marines, sadly. <laughs> the fuck you got some crazy heavy hit kiss with the fuck rocks. <laughs> shark fin suits. Yeah, uh, it's because they they hunted sharks like fucking crazy for their fins, and I'm pretty sure they're same with dolphins. But uh, they they go they went through a lot of shit for it. It's pretty insane. I love it though. Like I, I think it's super cool. It was super sad to see it die though, cause like that shark was beautiful, but they just it wasn't gonna make it back in the water and like or, or like it was in the water and they were trying to like make it alive, but like the thing was so tired, they they could put their hand like they had their gloves on, but they could put their hand right next to its mouth and it wouldn't do anything. Confo, getting hella hungry. Well, Fred, you better start eating, motherfucker. <laughs> Uh, currently, I'm home. Thankfully. Uh, let's see. Bink. Alright, more skulls. I don't even know what the fuck we gotta do with this. Thanks, Nightbot. <laughs> Every time Nightbot talks, dude. Gotta thank him, you know. All right, let's just look it up. Terry's always been in the back of my mind. What you, uh, what got you there? Uh, I mean, I did it right out of high school. I I enlisted when I was 17. Um, I kind of like always wanted to. I always enjoyed the thought. Oh, like I'm gonna join, go to war, la da di da. Right? Yeah, that never happened. But yeah, went in. That's just fun. I mean, it sucks, but you get to shoot a lot of guns, and at moments, like, there's some pretty cool fucking experiences. Like, not many people can say, like, oh, they got to shoot a Mark 19, which is an automatic grenade launcher, basically, and she's 40 mic mic. Uh, yeah, you can, like, not many people can say they've shot an M240 Bravo, not many people can say they shot a saw, an M4, a fucking, uh... A saber system, and if you don't know what that is, it, like a tow missile. If you ever play Battlefield and you get on those fucking things and you can shoot the missile and you can control it with the system, not many people can say they shot a javelin either. And if you don't know what that is, you ever played Warzone? The fucking, uh, the Joker, whatever the hell it's called. <laughs> See, the sad thing is, Fred, is they didn't want me. <laughs> two times a week for two years when I was younger. Hey. I mean, getting familiar with guns and getting into it, it's a super good skill to have. Like, I I love guns. I think it's super fun. But over time, like, I've done this shit for so long. So actually, Fred, uh, my, like, my job, my branch, um, actually, my job, you can't. But my branch, you can actually, you can be colorblind and be in the uh you can be in the military it's pretty interesting all right uh the fuck was this damn quest called more skulls cool This is, I mean, it's nice to have a fucking paycheck, though. Better than nothing. And my college is paid for and shit, so. At least I don't go into debt for that shit.
has its advantages and its disadvantages. That's how it always is. It's also like every single fucking uh like job out there. If I ever join, I know you might hear it a lot, but I want to be in the shit out there. Look. Let me let me just throw this at you really quick, okay? I joined the Marines, right? So the the one the one branch you think is actually gonna see shit, right? I chose a grunt MOS, my job. I was an O3, I'm on O352, so I'm an anti-tank missileman. My job is literally to go and destroy enemy vehicles. I'm anti uh I'm basically how do I put this? I'm anything anti armor. I've yet to get shot at. And I've been in for four years. Promise you probably won't see fucking combat. It's just not worth it. I were in being tested, not knowing I'm colorblind, and then this lady goes, Can you say the numbers in the circles? And I go, 13 in the first circle. Then I remember me asking, Is there supposed to be a number in the next one? Ooh. That's the worst, Fred. That's that's really shitty. I have uh, I have a lot of buddies who were like that. They uh, figured out that they were colorblind through all the testing and shit. They're just like, the fuck? <laughs> it snuck up on them. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. You know, I think uh, I think not getting shot at is a good thing. <laughs> on the bright side, though. If I got shot at and I hear a snap, 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 I'll just go back to my Tarkov references and, you know, fucking. <laughs> uh. Gotta go get ready now. See you guys. Have a good night. <laughs> All right, Princess. Hey, it was good talking to you. Stay safe out there. Found out I have a bad hearing on my right ear. Hey, Fred, I shoot guns for a living. Trust me, I understand bad hearing. Like, my shit is so fucked, it's not even funny. It's a sad day right there. And it's not fun losing your hearing either, you know? Like, that shit, that shit's a fucking... It sucks. Because <laughs> I, I started losing my, uh... I started losing my hearing, and then I started losing my, no, no, I started losing my eyesight first, and then I started losing my hearing, which sucked. I haven't even shot a gun in my hearing, sucks, because a lot of us music and New Year's bombs. I mean, yeah, that that sounds about right, actually, on both ends. But I mean, I think I think a big worry of mine is like being deaf when I'm old as fuck, because like I really just don't want to be fucking deaf like at all. I I just feel like that super sucks, you know. It's not even like it. it I wouldn't even really say it's a worry either. It's more of like. I just don't want it. <laughs> yeah, right? You like it? It's fucking Capri Sun. I'm playing I'm playing Adventure Quest Worlds and I'm drinking a Capri Sun. Come on. Who doesn't like it? <laughs> Oh, damn. Actually, that's pretty badass, though. I know a lot of ways to make fucking little tiny bombs, and it's like... It's pretty badass with how much shit you can do. Especially, like, sparkler bombs. I love sparkler bombs. Tinnitus, which... Yeah. Fuck tinnitus. I understand that. That sucks. We have a lot of guys who actually develop tinnitus over time. Which is... is super sad. I also have a small case of tinnitus, yep. I think, actually, is tinnitus hereditary? I 
I feel like I've heard that somewhere. Damn, my nose is bothering me. I wonder if it's hereditary. Love mixing fireworks. <laughs> mixing fireworks was badass. I used to love it. We actually, so what we used to do, we used to take uh, like our own kind of like bottle rockets we've made from a lot of shit. And we used to put them in exhaust uh, pipes for fucking cars and shoot them out of it. Shit, fuck up the car though. Damn, my nose. You too, but we just created the stupidest shit. <laughs> oh shit! He started speaking it. I just wanted to translate my guy. <laughs> Dude, honestly, I don't give a fuck. Y'all are good. Y'all can just fucking chill. I don't care if you fucking speak in your own language. It's actually pretty badass that y'all speak two languages. Did y'all fucking, um... Did y'all, like, just learn English on your own? Or, or like, how did that work for y'all? Like, was it taught in your schools or some shit? Did you just go out and decide to do it on your own? Or was it just fucking, like... Hey, it came to you. <laughs> yeah, it is. I could speak English before having it in school. That makes sense. I mean, English is a really, like, it's a big, big language, like, I think everyone should really know because a good amount of the world speaks English. English and then Spanish is another big one. Some German French. See? Y you know, actually, that's a, that's a weird thing about Americans. So, they fucking, um, they will literally have, like, Americans won't know shit for languages. Like, we'll know a couple sometimes, but, like, anywhere, like, Europeans, they fucking know their shit. Like, they're like, yeah, I speak four languages. And then everyone else is like, what? <laughs> I don't think that's just a European thing. Estonian is just far away in my head, though. I just wanted to learn something because I'm from hmm. There's a shit ton of languages out there, man. Man, this motherfucker don't want to drop it. Oh, there it is. Hot. <laughs> uh, I fucking love it, man. <laughs> you motherfuckers. <laughs> Sounds kind of bussin'. What you grinding for, my guy? Uh, I'm just doing the Doom quest right now. Yeah, basically. Just something to do right now. I really don't feel like going and grinding gold and Legion tokens. To go get fucking uh, either Void High Lord or fucking what's that other one? Uh, the Revenant one or whatever the fuck. Or, or no, is it? 
Legion Revenant? I don't know. It's some shit like that. You know what I'm talking about. It's the two biggest classes everyone fucking uses. Yeah, Legion Revenant. I knew it was something like that. Fuck to farm for. Uh, I mean, have you already gotten your uh, fucking Void Highlord and Legion Revenant? Because I mean, they're they're always there to grind. Or you can grind the story out. That's another one. Or what the fuck I should use my on. <laughs> um, I got no clues, Red. <laughs> Damn, I'm being a weak body right now. I'm tired. Grown man drinking Capri Sun, playing Adventure Quest Worlds, and I'm tired at fucking 7.34 p.m. Damn. <laughs> Is Skeleton Hand? No, it's Spine Gripper I'm looking for. I haven't even managed to fill my backpack with junk. I'm too lazy to sort. <laughs> that makes sense. I mean, I got so much shit to sort. Like, look at, look at this shit. Look at this. I have so much bullshit. I just... No idea what to do at all. Way too much damn shit. All that damn shit. A lot of rares though. Back from like 2011 and 2012 and 14 and shit. <laughs> you got a fuck ton shit more or what? I need to start collecting AC items again. I filled my 400 bags. <laughs> oh no. I had like two items in the bank. <laughs> Jesus. Damn. That gives me every time. Hey Synchro, appreciate that follow, man. <laughs> yeah, I... I don't know, like most of, most of the shit I have is just from shit I used to have back in the day. That's it. So one percent chance to drop to have this fucking shit drop. See, but how do you even you can't even get classes rares now, can you? What is I O D A or L O D A? Donated awesomeness. So what the what? What is that? Like, where the fuck do you get that? Pick shit for free. Huh? Ah. Nice. From Wheel of Doom. Oh. Well, that's pretty cool. So 
So wait, how the fuck do you get that? When you spend a lot of <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Maybe maxed out so I can. <laughs> Come on, you fucker, drop. I remember the shit I'm rocking right now it took me forever to get when I was a fucking kid. I used to love this shit though. Especially the Khaled blogs or whatever you want to call them, the weapons. I mean, they're super easy to get, but like, if you don't have those synchro, you can get the damn Khaled blogs. However the fuck you want to, I don't, I don't know how the fuck you say it. Khaled, Khaled blogs. Damn. Good on ya. Yeah, I don't, I don't have that much. I have, uh... No, that's the wrong one. The only shit I have is... Where is it? Is it on this one? No, it is on this one. Where is it? See? That's all I have. <laughs> so much shit I gotta do though that one's from a long time ago though 2012 yep ain't that some shit such a long time such a long time ago it's just Blows my mind. I love like, I love how long ago it, it was. I don't know. It's just interesting to me. You know, I, I really wish that Twitch didn't like screw up all the music playing because then I could play a lot more different of music because I love fucking like heavy metal and all that damn shit nope that ain't getting played might try to find one though <laughs> thanks nightbot <laughs> give me a theme and I'll try to make a set um Try fucking. Try the most no most no gath look you can possibly do. Like just the biggest no. Damn, that gets me every fucking time. <laughs> Paysex OG, appreciate that follow, man. So I'm a big, I'm a big Nolagath guy. I've always loved Nolagath. Bet. <laughs> I think, I think one goal I am gonna do though is I'm gonna go for like all rep ten, fucking uh, for everything. I think that's one big thing I'm gonna do. Oh, this damn thing needs to drop already. Capri Sun. Come on, you fucker. Just drop already. Can't believe this game is still kicking. <laughs> right, FaceX? Hey, honestly, the game's doing good. They've added so much shit from a long time ago, and it's it's pretty fucking awesome. Super happy about it when I found out that it was still fucking going. 
Because, like, if you look at all the other games that, like, you used to play, like, Mecha, Quest, or whatever the fuck, or, like, Epic Duel and shit, like, they're all dead, dead. But, like, nah, this game still has a couple thousand players that play it. No, that's not it. Damn, this fucker, if he doesn't drop my shit, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna lose my shit. What kind of music you people listen to? Uh, I'll hit you with the generic, just about anything, <laughs> but I love, like, heavy metal and fucking rock music and shit. Uh, I like hip-hop, kind of like rap and such. Um, I'm a fan of, like dubstep kind of like music call me crazy but i've liked it since i was like a kid um but like my favorite is definitely like heavy and shit like i love disturbed i love fucking um what else i like skillet i know skillet's not really like all that but I, i'm i'm a big skillet fan i like finger death punch i like fucking slipknot especially slipknot um i like fucking uh what else is there? That's like big ones. Fuck, what are they called? Uh, Breaking Benjamin. I like Breaking Benjamin. Nice. I like it. It looks good. I'm all in for heavy metal, metalcore, black metal. De See? Okay, okay. So, so look. This is where I draw the line, though, on this one. Uh, Synchro is... I love heavy metal and shit, but like, I really can't listen to it if all they're doing is just screaming the whole time. Now, like, if they're screaming some of it and shit, and they're actually like, like, because if you if you listen to like Slipknot, Slipknot's perfect, because like they scream and shit, but like, if you listen to like Slipknot, their their singer has a badass voice, like it's super good. But like, I can't listen to screamo, and I I don't know why. I just like I used to like it at one point, and then out of nowhere, I just. I just didn't like it anymore, you know? True. True, Fred. That's very true. You gotta be honest, though. No Gas New Look is badass. Gonna appreciate the talent that it takes to make... Oh, yeah. You definitely have to appreciate that. Because, like, dude, if you scream for 10 seconds, not even, I guarantee you, you're gonna be like... Ugh. Hey guys, how's it going? Like, the fact that they can scream for that long is absolutely amazing. I will give them that. All right, Fred, what do you what do you got with um your most legion fucking outfit? But I I like um. I'll, all right, like you're gonna be like, oh, what the fuck? I like Christian music too. I'll be honest here, not trying to get all religion here and shit, but like, I, it kind of like calms me down, you know. Um, but I love rock and like heavy metal. It, it's definitely my favorite. Um, <laughs> all right, Fred. I'm I'm a huge fan of like. How do I put this? I'm a huge fan of like rap, but like not too old of rap, but not the new new dumb shit where they just sound like eh, blind, not huh? saying with a blood. No, fuck that shit. But like, like actual songs where it almost kind of sounds like hip hop. Uh, <laughs> Christian metal? That's a thing. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what do they do? Like. Praise! Praise! <laughs> like... No, that that doesn't mix. Because, like, heavy metal is about, like, killing and fucking annihilating each other and shit. You know what I'm saying? Nice. I like that weapon, Fred. But yeah, like, even, uh, Synchro, even, like, some of the music, like, I play right now, like, in the background you'll hear, like, some of it just gets me sometimes, because I'm like, dude, this is gay as fuck. 
<laughs> I want you to save this link for <laughs> when you have time. <laughs> if you <laughs> Nightbot. <laughs> Thanks, Nightbot. <laughs> if you wanna if you wanna do links and shit, no, I'm not trying to be one of those little cucks that's like, hey guys, how about you go check out my Discord? No. But like if you do want to like send a link or something, just go to my Discord and just put it in there. That's like the easiest way to do it. And then if it still doesn't let you, I laugh my ass off because Nightbot, I'm not gonna lie, my Nightbot's a fucking savage. Oh, really? <laughs> it's been that long? What is this? There we go. Did it really expire? I didn't even know that was a thing. Wow. Interesting. I'm going to have to fix that then. How the fuck do you fix that? <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, we'll just we'll just do it that way. Uh Let me hop on Discord really quick. Uh, here, actually, I'll do you, I'll do you one better. That's my fucking Discord. That's really funny, actually. I'm gonna have to update that. I really didn't know that that was possible. That's just that's just to show you like how new I am to streaming and shit, you know. It's hard to appreciate for people who dislike that genre, but holy fuck, that sound the vocalists make it sounds like. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's not like I I hate it or anything, but it's it's more of like I just can't listen to it not anymore. It's almost like, you know, when you were a kid and you used to love um like you used to absolutely love eating a certain food. And then you grew up, and then, like, you just stopped liking a certain food. That's kind of like how it was. You knew that your shit starts to expire, I see. Yes. That new. I've only been streaming a couple months, actually. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> Every time he just starts screaming, you just put him in the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Damn, it's only a 1% drop. Like, come on. <laughs> you, lo you look at the, uh, you look at the background, like music, like the background sound effects that they do for uh, the Lord of the Rings, and it turns out he is actually some of them. <laughs> that, that would be golden. That would be absolutely golden. That would crack me up. Smeagol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd be like, this precious just wants to play the games. <laughs> it's it's the boss, actually. Like, it, it's it's what comes out of the fucking volcano before they're able to actually go in. <laughs> hey, call me a fucking nerd. I don't care. I love the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit and everything. Super good fucking movie series. <clears throat> Damn. I love that. Yeah, dude. I fucking absolutely love The Hobbit. Like, in my opinion, The Hobbit blows The Lord of the Rings out of the fucking water. But I'm not going to say The Lord of the Rings isn't good. Because, like, The Lord of the Rings is fire. Same. Like, like... No, you're not that guy. Like, I agree. Like, I like The Lord of the Rings. Like, it's still... It's still good. But, like... The Hobbit makes the Lord of the Rings look like shit. <laughs> Let's be honest here. If you want the things you can appreciate from P, then skip the first song. That first one is devilish music. It's a bit much for me sometimes as well. 
<laughs> All right, brother. Uh, let me fucking. There you go. There you go. Just added you. Yeah, I, j I just added you so you can. Sorry, I didn't realize you already sent something. Yeah, I'm like... I, I'll tell you this. You know what I really appreciate? I really appreciate people who are just like... Super good at like their music. Like, for example... um. If you can shred on the guitar, or you can shred, or shred, if you can fuck up some drums, or like you can tear it up anything musical wise, like, I appreciate the fuck out of that, in my opinion. Hang on. Tch. Fucking work. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna fucking do that. I'm gonna figure out something to to do that later on to play other music without getting my shit ripped. Oh, uh, I can't shred the guitar, but I can down beers like crazy. That's a skill. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to showcase to you because every member is talented as fuck. It's not really because I force you to live in the genre, you know. It's just because. No, I get that. There's no tomorrow. <laughs> That's reasonable. Like, I, I understand that. Like, look, I'm very big on, like, don't knock it till you try it kind of thing. Like, I'm very, I'm very back and forth on, like, that devil worshiping kind of shit. But, like, I'm all about fucking, uh, like, hearing shit and, like, seeing what it is and stuff. Best beer. Clear. Never heard of those actually. They they've gotta be like Denmark kind of beers. Which is pretty interesting. I kinda like that. That's pretty cool. I mean it's it's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. This bitch drops quick. I really ain't trying to kill this bitch like a thousand fucking times. I have a very good mood song to show you as well from NCS. Oh yeah, I I know Phoenix actually. I absolutely love that song. Here, I got you. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's actually on my playlist here. No, it's not on this one. It's on this one. Hang on. Oh, it does. Oh, that's not what it is. Fucking. I think it's on here. Hold on. Let me see. No, it's not this one. I have to use NCS, though, because of uh, fucking all that shit that Twitch, you know, came out with. Is it in house? No. That's not the real one. Looking for the real one. Ah, here it is. I knew it was in this fucking playlist, I just couldn't find it. That's it's so fucking, that's crazy like seeing y'all's language, man. Cause like, you can hear it, but like seeing it spelt, that's, it's just insane.
<clears throat> Damn. <laughs> Dude, I I would not even be able to fucking say that. Sounds ass. <laughs> I mean, you know what? Fuck it. If it works, it works, you know? I can't speak any other languages, so good on y'all. <laughs> it's all about the percent. Have y'all ever had, um, fucking, oh, uh, what's it called? It's not called Bang, it's called fucking, it's Fire. What is it called? I don't remember what the fuck they're called. They're dangerous as hell in fucking, oh, there's a dread stuff, cool. They're dangerous as hell in fucking Japan. Uh, they're like, they're basically these alcoholic beverages that have like fucking 14 and 18 percent alcohol percentages which yeah isn't like the most in the world but like it's a good amount for like a, these little ass drinks how do you spell this please No, it's not. It's not soju. So here, actually, I'll just look it up really quick. Um, because it's not sake either. Because I've had sake plenty of times. Thanks, Nightbot. <laughs> um. See if I can't find it. See if I can't figure it out. Um, this is gonna bother me if I don't find it now. <laughs> no, 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 that's not it. Oh, they're called Strongs. Have y'all ever had them before? It's a Japanese drink and it's called Strong. They're super good. Now they're like a fruit drink, keep in mind. So it's like, it is what it is, but they taste amazing. And like, you'll drink that shit like it's fucking apple juice. And the sad part is, is you will get fucked up like that off of it. And it sneaks up on you. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll we'll, we'll play that back. The year is 1991. Birds and people are living together in seemingly perfect harmony until one day a young man catches fire. This is the <laughs> Dude, y'all's language gets me every time because I try to read it, so I sound fucking retarded in my head trying to read it. How can you call it the sad part? It's all about getting fucked up. So, yes, it is all about getting fucked up. But it's really, really, really bad when your boy is out here fucking uh, getting fucked up on, like, the first or second drink. And then the rest of the night, you're just taking care of him. Here, hold on. I got you. Oh, cool. I already got the blade. Oh, 
what is next? Oh, you gotta buy it? What the hell? That fucker in there, that fucker in there, put him in there. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to do that actually. <laughs> Dude, y'all's language just got me fucked up, I'm telling you. Every time I read it, I'm just like, ah! <laughs> um, let's see. fucking language man all right what's the next one go kill dragon heart or not kill it but I gotta go to it try to pronounce roget rodahajed have a red <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to fucking say it. Rod Grode Med Flowed. <laughs> Do I sound fucking retarded or what? I sound fucking retarded, don't I? Sounds nothing like it. I think this is the right area. Sound like an American trying to speak Danish. I mean, not far off. Rod Grode Met Float. <laughs> Jesus. See where the? F nope, nope. We're, we're gonna we're gonna do it again. There we go. You got me. You got me hooked on the fucking song. So I, I guess I am going the right way then. Cause I just gotta keep fucking running. Ugh! All this fucking running. Oh, so I was in the right place. I just had to keep running. Oh yeah, I did. I don't know. I should probably, I should probably, probably stop playing it, huh? <laughs> it's gonna get stuck in my head. I'm gonna give him Danish music suggestions. <laughs> oh no. He's gonna start singing some fucking director hard for the shit. <laughs> Alright, I gotta go through bangers. <laughs> I need the, the, the fucking scythe from this fucker. Can I send you? Dude, yeah, I don't care. Y'all can send me anything. As long as it ain't no fucking like nudity and shit, we're all good. <laughs> there we go. Oh, quick. sweet. That was pretty quick.
Shit nudity, my guy. <laughs> Interesting. I've never seen these fuckers. Ned Spotify, link it. <laughs> Interesting. We're going full out on this one. <laughs> That's so dumb. Alright, what did I need again? Uh, you got two songs over Discord now, Mr. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Oh, the memes. So I need to get this fucker. How the fuck do I get palace tokens? Quests, maybe? Uh, no. No. Pangers incoming. <laughs> so how the fuck do you get palace tokens? Do you guys know? Oh, just kill him? Alright, cool. Ah, all right, that makes sense. Easy enough. Maybe we need ten, right? We love suspect here in Denmark because the shit is Danish and is about sex and Danish shit. Nice. <laughs> uh, I fucking love it. Oh fuck, yeah, I should probably accept it, huh? Alright, so we got Screaming Might now. Now we need the last one. Which we gotta go to Wrath for. Kinda like the Danish version of BC Boys. <laughs> alright, alright, I see you. I sent you another one. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Where the fuck is this damn thing at? To the number one. <laughs> I can't go there yet. What are you talking about? Alright, come on. Bring me there. Let's go. What, what is it? Where is it? What's his name? Dragon Mystic. Okay. Nice! He brought me there. Alright, now it's time to. To okay, okay, all right. That shit started going down. Time to change over to Stone Crusher. Fucking boost the shit out of you. Let me just drop this fucker quick. I need to get this damn bone blade from him. Well, there's the bone axe. Played at a lot of parties here in Denmark. I bet, do y'all have a fucking, uh, in Denmark, do y'all have like a, a season where y'all fucking party? Like a, a, like how you would have Christmas or you how you would have something like that. Like, you know how it's like, oh, hey, it's December, guys. It's this day. It's time to fucking party. Oh, is it just all of summer? Dude, I wouldn't even know how to fuck to say that. I'm gonna fucking. No. There it is. 
this. Shit, honestly, I don't, I don't even get to have fucking time anymore. Like, when it comes to fucking, like, summer or Christmas or any of that shit, I usually never have time anymore. So I really barely celebrate them anymore. Which is pretty sad, in my opinion, honestly. Can we get live reaction, Mr. Fool? <laughs> uh, yeah, we can actually. I'm gonna have to stop playing the music in the background. Once we, once I, once I get this drop from this fucker, I'll do it. I'll tell you this though, Void High Lord and all those fuckers, like when you mix that shit with Stone Crusher, it's super good. At least in my opinion, like I found Stone Crusher to be a super nice support class. Yeah, that'll boost the fuck out of it like crazy too. I'm talking about for like, not a lower level, but like not that hard of a grind. Because honestly, Stone Crusher is not that bad. And I feel like if you mix them all together, <laughs> speak of the devil. <laughs> yeah, like when you mix them all together, I feel like it's just a monster. Like you, you just melt. Because like Stone Crusher basically just does all the haste and mana and such. And then the rest of the fuckers just strong boy. Infinity Titan is just Stone Crusher, but chain design. Remember? Yeah, I I was I was told that actually. Um, I just damn. I just learned like uh, or I didn't learn. I I did it kind of on my own just to fucking get Miss Song and Arc and Grove to ten and shit. So I was like, fuck it, you know, I might as well. Hey, there we go. We got it. Alright, let's fucking throw this shit in here really quick. I kind of like the drops they gave. Oh yeah, whatever. Yeah, y'all hitting him hard as fuck. All 
All right, uh, so let's go ahead and move on to this next bit, and then I'll fucking listen to that music. Because that's the end of this quest, I'm pretty sure. You talking about weed, bro? Yeah, I know. Y'all talking about it in here? Oh, yeah. Shit. That just clicked for me. I'm sorry. When you were talking about, oh, we hitting hard, meaning like, ah, yeah. That makes sense now. Kind of like just clicked. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna turn off the music for a second and listen to this shit. Hit hard as well, but we do something else. Yeah, true. See, I'm in I'm in the military, so no no drug policy. Alright, so which which one should I start with then? Fucking kinky fader, hun blev bar seglad, <laughs> or fuck is fuck. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's see. First one, fuck as fuck. All right. <laughs> oh, who's it by, actually? Because I got to look in the Discord. Because I can't go on fucking... Ah, it means fuck off. All right. It's by suspect. Okay, so they're all by suspect, then. Is that how you say it? Suspect? Am I saying that right? Yeah, 2009. So, yeah, okay. That's what I figured. So, what's the song about? Are they just basically just saying, fuck off? Okay, all right. I can I can see how y'all hit on this. What's up, Kyle? By the way, one of my buddies just hopped in the Discord. I got I got these these guys are getting me into some fucking some Danish music. <laughs> I know y'all can't y'all can't hear it or they'll fucking they'll bot my ass on Twitch. Can't let you listen, sadly. You can you can thank Twitch for that one. Really? See, I thought it was anything. <laughs> Interesting. Damn, this song's long as fuck. Eight minutes? Well, so believe it or not, they've they've actually gotten me already a couple times for it. Yeah, they they've they like they straight up mute it fully. Like they'll mute the whole fucking uh the whole video, like your whole stream that you took. I mean, I'm enjoying it. All right, we'll see. We'll see what the next song is. We'll see what the next song. Is. So we'll, we'll we'll pause this one for right now. Ooh. 
Oof. Let's see. All right, so so I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen to uh yeah I'm gonna listen to Hunblev Bear Cyclot. <laughs> I really have no idea how to say that, but they don't destroy your ass just because we listen along. <laughs> hey, bleep, <laughs> bruh, the logo to it though. <laughs> what is that? What even is that logo? Okay, I I will I will use Google Translate. All right. Google Translate. I feel like that's not right. Hum bliv bar seglu. Is that what it says? Hun bliv hun bliv bar seglu. Does that sound right? So it says it says she was just so happy. Is that is that right? Did it translate it right? It translates you one. Oh here, I got you, I got you, I got you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can I can tell you, I can show you the bot speaking. I got you, you ready for this? Did you hear that? Nice. Nice. So it, it translates to she was so happy. Or she was just so happy. She sounded like a dumbass, but it was good. <laughs> okay, hold on. So... So you said she sounded like a dumbass, but it was correct. And he said this pretty accurate. So you're just saying that you guys sound like dumbasses. It's okay. I don't need it. I don't need to fucking speak a different language to sound like a dumbass. So I'm with y'all. <laughs> oh, wonderful! This video may be inappropriate for uh, some users. I like it. Shit is definitely got to be aggressive and bad, huh? There's no way it's not. So are they, are they like your um? So you said they're like they're your Beastie Boys, but like, are they fucking? They've they like some of your most famous? Like they're fucking straight up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bro, this video is hilarious though. <laughs> yeah, dude, this shit's fire. Fucking, you're... Hun blev ber saglera, whatever the fuck it's called. However the hell you want to say it. Yeah, that. I really want to translate this whole song and see what it says. Probably. I don't care. It's still fire, though. I'm digging this. I'm not going to lie. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's probably super bad, but I don't care. Like, jeez. My job is probably worse than any of this shit.
He just spits. <laughs> the ending is just horrible. Yeah, we're, we're whipping out some translate fucking lyrics, gents. Alright, I gotta fucking remember how the fuck to... No, I'm not even gonna spell it. Lyrics. English translation. Alright, here we go. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? <laughs> Alright. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm digging it. This is fucking hilarious. What? <laughs> when I gave her some money and slapped her face, I hit bitches, especially those with a dick. <laughs> Bruh. <coughs> oh, this shit's got me dying. Okay, listen, do me a favor, gents. If y'all ever have an American or just anyone who does not speak a thing, and I mean an absolute thing of fucking Danish, just hit them with, hey, dude, you should definitely listen to this song. Like, we all jam to it. You should listen to it on your, like, phone or something. Just walk around, you know, your fucking grocery store. <laughs> that would be fucking hilarious. Damn, that's the lyrics to that song are just absolutely gruesome. That's hilarious. I love it. Fucking um All right, what is this what does the next one stand for? Fucking kinky fader. Bro, y'all are speaking some shit. How do you even say it? edge fuck debt? <laughs> of course, the first time I meet Danish people, I'm already getting corrupted. I love it. <clears throat> yeah, I know that. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, how the hell are we going to fucking put that into? Let's see. Oh, I got it. Cool. All right, let's see. He sounds good. Like, he can fucking flow. Okay, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know, you know what this reminds me of? Uh, like, I'm not even kidding. Like, the exact same thing, kind of. A little less vulgar as much as fucking, um, uh, would, would y'all say their name was? Gold what? Gold... I don't remember. Whatever. It's kind of, um, think of it like this. The American version, if y'all have ever heard of them, is kind of like Hollywood Undead. Except way less vulgar. But they, they kind of sound similar with how their music are and how they are. Because if y'all have never heard Hollywood Undead, uh, what is a good song for Hollywood Undead? Let's see. 
You know them. Okay, cool. So if you, if you look up them and like you look up a fucking random ass song, you'll definitely like their flow is is the same. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bruh. Like, 20 seconds of the song is just a chick going after it in the damn mic. <laughs> oh my god, and it keeps going. <laughs> it's like fucking 50 seconds long. Jesus. That's actually hilarious. Alright, boy, it's time to get back to the grind. <laughs> we'll fucking uh unmute this bitch. Alright, let's see. <laughs> wow. If I like look at myself. I look like I have a fucking spray tan. Why do I look so tan? Look at that. That's my normal color. I like transform into a Mexican. Yeah, whatever. My Hispanic buddies will watch this later and be like, you fucking bitch. <laughs> you gotta listen to the song from... Is that the the one you just sent me? Oh, yeah, it is. All right, all right. This is the last one, and then I got to get back to the grind. <laughs> Has destroyed people on Twitch before. So, they have... Uh, how you going to say I'm Mexican? That's some fucked up shit right there. No! I am Irish and Italian, motherfucker. Um, And yeah, so I know that about NCS, but I found out the loophole because I, I went into... Uh, I went into NCS's actual like guidelines on playing their music, and all you have to do is this. Whatever you use them on, like Spotify or this or that, I use it on YouTube. So if you go to their YouTube channel and you put the link to their YouTube channel into your uh, actual stream, which if you notice, like on the title, it actually has it there, you'll be fine because all it says in their thing is to give them um, the... Uh, Whatever the fuck it is. Like, hey, this dude fucking is playing. This is where I got the music from. And, like, you're safe from it. Oh, I got this. Vikin and Hardu Smith Den Ham. I don't know. That sound right? That sound bad? Ginim Bien. Good or shit? That's which song I sent. Interesting. Kind of shit. Man, fuck y'all. You know, I, I give up. <laughs> uh, let's see. Through the city. Sounded more Swedish, not gonna lie. <laughs> if I practice at that, I could definitely get y'all down. Cause like I do I do impressions. I love doing impressions. And like if I practice at that, I guarantee you I could get fucking Danish down. So Ganimbian. Who's it by? Bet. <laughs> Kent. There we go. Hey, if you don't believe me, I ain't gonna lie. Like, all right. So my my best impression that I could do is Donald Duck, one hundred percent. But you got like Donald Duck, Goofy, Mickey Mouse, fucking, uh, 
I can. I always fuck with one of my buddies with it, but I can. I can sound like a fucking. Uh, I can sound like a, a very deep voiced black dude, or just a normal fucking deep voiced person. Uh, I can do a high, really high pitched fucking voice. You got British down, and Australian and British is very hard because, like, you know, you go back and forth. Scottish, one hundred percent. Um, fucking kind of Asian, but it's really racist if you do Asian. Not gonna lie, like, no matter how you do it. Uh. I can definitely sound Mexican because I used to fuck with my buddies all the time because I never understood what they say. Fucking a crogs, huh? <laughs> you know what? Imitating a turtle. I don't think they make sounds. That makes sense. Uh, just like fucking. Uh, it wasn't. Is it Swedish? Or for, no, French. Just like the French. Thanks, Nightbot. Just like the French. Sound like you got peanut butter on the roof of your mouth, right? <laughs> so you kind of make a high-pitched moan. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I've seen that video. Uh, are you talking about like where they're having like sex? Like, ah. <laughs> that shit's fucking hilarious. Okay. I see it. I'll listen to it while I'm fucking going at it. Just pull accepted friend request. Yes, yes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I got you, dog. I like it. Yeah. I like this dude a lot, actually. But I'll take it. Spelled that wrong. Yeah, I did. You are now <laughs> known as Mr. Pool from now on. <laughs> you know what? The amount of people that just call me for random names, I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, this this song is a fucking banger. This is I'm sorry, I got to listen to it again. That shit's good. You sons of bitches. <laughs> hold on, hold on, I got this. I got this. Can factisk ik it'll neonals. <laughs> Man fucking number numero uno. <laughs> Din er static van vidic. <laughs> Damn, I feel like I sound fucking retarded. <laughs> you can try the song fucking number. It's also by.
<laughs> Interesting. What do I have to go next? So, all right, hold on. Let me let me let me guess it. So, Ginnim, hold on. So it's it's Ginnim Yoon, is that right? Not Ginnim Bien. It's Ginnim Yoon. It's like are are the bees in your Bien? So is it like that Bien? Or is it Bien? Closer. So so then it's kind of like Bune, almost. But anyway, I'm assuming this song's about him like talking about like some chick, and they're fucking chilling. And no, 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 no. Hold on, I gotta listen to the song again before I can say that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta, I, I gotta do this again. Hold on, hold on. Nice. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, here, I'll just, uh, I'll pop a link in really quick for y'all. I don't know why I did that. Uh, do y'all actually, do y'all know if, um, if fucking the links if they just expire over time or like do y'all know how to make it to where like a link doesn't expire like that <laughs> hey look i'm down i fucking i chill um you boys you, you boys you you all gonna be on uh this weekend because I, mean, I got work tomorrow so like here in about like 14 minutes, I'm about to hop off. But this weekend, I'm going to be on like fucking crazy. So, bet. All right, let's see. How the fuck do I get a link to this damn chat? I cannot remember. Oh, there it is. Duh. Found it. All right, so I know that one, and then where's yours at? It's low grab, so low grab. The fuck is your name? There it is. All right, I just sent two to y'all. Let's see. Uh, no, we can. Yeah, time zones are so fucked. You know. Yeah, I do now. Saturday, I'm a drink. <laughs> we on two sides of the planet. Sunday, I'm gonna try not to die. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I understand. I'm usually on like around this time every day. Um, sometimes streaming, sometimes not. Um, but. I'm always fucking, like, on the weekends, I'm usually up from, yeah, like, I'm talking eight hours ago to, like, another six hours from now. <laughs> my wife isn't with me. So, my, my wife, she's also in the military, and right now, she's in a, a whole other state. She's, like, over a thousand miles away from me right now. So, um, I basically just, like, have all a lot of free time, unless she calls me. Uh, which usually she's just super tired. So, other than that, yeah. <laughs> I'm 22. I've been married since I was 19, though. Yeah, yeah, hit it, hit me with it. Go ahead. Like, oh, you're so fucking young. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I've been fucking, uh, I've been fucking, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm, I'm really weird. I had, like, I got, fuck yeah, my wife's gorgeous, dog. 
She's fucking thick. She got beautiful. She's beautiful, all right? <laughs> but nah, um, she straight up, what? We've been dating for five years because we were high school sweet sweethearts. Hey, good on you, Fred. See, I, I, uh, cause I've been in, what? I've been in the military since 2017. And then we've been married since 2019. <laughs> yeah, that's not true, but technically I got a beer, or I got a, I got my wife before I was fucking, um, I was of age. Here, I got you, I got you, I got you. Sup, fuckers? Nice. I'm just saying, it's gonna, it's gonna echo on the stream, gents. Yeah, there you go. Oh, good, you just muted my stream. Thanks, assholes. <laughs> nah, man, those things are fucking bombs, though, those damn songs. That's, that's hilarious. Bad. Bad, boy. No, it, it's funny. Are you listening to it right now? No, nah, I can't. Not right now. I just ended it, though. Uh oh. The fucking Ganem Bune. Maybe you should listen to uh, This Is My Fucking Number. <laughs> That's the like, song's yeah, name? Should, this yeah, Is My yeah, Fucking yeah. Number? Uh, fucking, no, fucking Noma. Uh, the, how do you... Oh, yeah, yeah. The no, fucking Noma. Noma the N U M M E R one. The one that you also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, fucking uh, lit, mate. You, That's you, probably you just, the best uh, song. Yeah, you just listen to uh, Ken Boon. Ken and Boon. Uh, Is that from the sa Boon. same? That's the same dude, the Unkin Kanishu, or however the hell you say his name. Yeah. Ukin Kunstner. Yes, yes. Yeah. Y'all oh. fucking Danish with your fucking accents. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bro, it's no. It's not even like accents. If you um, come to. Uh, it's like a uh, Yulen. We have. Um, yeah, we have like three different accents, like in the north, the south. Nah, hey, I get it. Trust me, we got we got accents here too in America, fucking north, south, and everything. Like down in the south, where I'm from, at least, like you have motherfuckers like God damn, you sons of bitches, swear to God, <laughs> that type of shit. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Yee. <It's> like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like you can't understand each other if you're. Another part of the country. That's sort of. That's funny. Like I can't understand people in Copenhagen, for example. Oh, that... Interesting. No, that that's that's that makes lie. sense though. That's lie, mate. They just put men after every sentence. Well, I feel like I feel like y'all's like how y'all say shit. Like if you if you make a word sound different, like like straight up, like if I was to read y'all's fucking language and you said like like that one, numet or whatever, or no, numer. Whatever. If I said number or something, you guys would look at it and be like, "What the fuck did he just say?" Mate, it's it's noma. So yeah, you're noma. Like actually, more like you're closer when you <laughs> when you're like number. <laughs> but if I said, but if I said number, like number, like oh, the number one, if like that's how I read it, y'all would look at me like, "Well, what the fuck this man just say?" It's actually very much closer when you think you sound like a retard. Yeah, exactly. You, you just like, have to try it's just a lot closer than trying to combine it with another word in English, for example. Interesting. That's funny though. Yeah. That's good. It's just a lot of fucking Googles. <laughs> like when you type and stuff, it's so dumb. Like the E's and R's. They're so fucking dumb. See, y'all, y'all, when y'all fucking type and shit, y'all have like special keys that you click or something? Uh, uh, we have like... A -O. Uh, like I those... Just, uh, you like a special here. keyboard? Uh, yeah, we have like a, a Nordic layout. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 I get what you're saying. Interesting. Uh, I, got, I bet that gets weird typing in English then. No, because the, the only difference is those three. That's only like letters. Oh, different. like the O and the fucking shit like that? The A-O-E oh. thing? I yeah. Think yeah. Uh, the the insert button is uh, is uh, a, a little bigger. No, a lot more bigger. Y'all y'all have the U European fucking uh, keyboard on. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I know what it is. Yeah, I I yeah I built 
I built my fucking keyboard, uh, and they had the the European keys as well, and I I got so fucking confused. Like I was like, what the fuck is this? Because <laughs> like I I took them all out and just mixed them all up like, like a fucking idiot. And so I'm over here. I had like ones that were on the wrong side and shit, and I was I was all fucked up. We do be buzzing. <laughs> I, I just can't, I, US layout, I just can't use it because, like, the insert button is so fucking small. Yeah, it's super small. It's so thick. Not again. I know. Our shift buttons are fucking bigger than our damn enter buttons. Yeah. We have, like, one right on the enter and one on the left side as well. The small one is on the left side. I'm using the small one always. Yeah. I Interesting. Playing games. See, but do y'all is y'all's mouses over there fucking smaller? Or are they all normal like everything else? Normal. Everything else. See, I feel like like I uh, I'm using the G Pro at now, for example. Oh, all right, bet. It's the same. It's Funny. The same the... Yeah, I got the same fucker. <laughs> I'm using G Pro too. <laughs> <laughs> I also have a Logitech. I use a Logitech a lot though. Yeah, I also have like the um, G. 502 uh, light speed, but it's just too heavy now. Actually, so this this one I have right now, this Logitech one, they have y'all ever heard of a mouse giving y'all weight? Yeah, yeah, that's the Logitech right G502. Yeah, like, yeah. It, okay, so that's I didn't know if this was the 502 or not. I'll be honest. Fucking, I, I was to the put it up to the cam. Maybe it might be another one. See if it focuses. Know, Can the, you see it? Uh, gotta wait for the delay. Yeah, there's like a little bit of a delay. Infinite wheel on this. Yeah. Yeah, it, it has an infinite wheel on it. Yeah, that's the Logitech G502. I have the wireless version of that. See, I like I like I used, wired. I used that like that particular one. Uh, like I bought it used in 2014. Oh damn. And I and I used it until like 2020. So I used it for six and a half years. Damn. It's, I mean, it's a good mouse. Like, I, I looked at all the reviews and shit, and I was just like, oh, yeah, I'm going to fucking chill with this bitch. Yeah, it's yeah. a great mouse. I just, it's just too big for my hands. I have really small hands. That's why I picked up it. Hey, intro. you know what they say about small hands, right? I'm just Bigger saying, brains, you know? Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying, like, the, the, the G502 has the same white as the, the G Pro. See and, now, now you're saying fucking uh, words weird. It's wide width. <laughs> what? Yeah, well, width. And I don't know, like mate. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, dog. Yeah, I'll type a word I just can't fucking pronounce. It. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I, I, I can't pronounce that shit. All right, say it. Say it. I can't even get okay, 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 okay. Here, here. I got you. I got you. Ready? I'm gonna, I'm gonna type this out. Say it like this. Comfortable. That just, that just sounds retarded. Oh, actually, here, here. I'll, I'll do it better. Here, here. I thought it was like comfortable. Yes, come for my table. <laughs> <laughs> See, see if that helps. Actually, hold on. Say that. <laughs> hold on, here. I'll make it. E I'll make it even better for you. Hold on, hold on. Oh, I, I just comfortable. <laughs> I, just look at, I just look at it, and the first thing that comes to my mind is convertible. <laughs> convertible. I mean, it's comfortable. That's what it sounds. <laughs> I can't pronounce it. I can't. Come for my table. Say it like that. <laughs> you know what? I mean, if you say it, if you say it fast enough, it probably sounds like "come for my table," <laughs> comfortable. <laughs> hey, welcome to my stream. This is literally every time I talk to people on this damn stream. No, it's like uh, our time zones are completely different. I have work in one and a half hour. <laughs> Bro, I I have work in. Like, I gotta wake up at 4.30 in the morning, so it's 9 p.m. I ain't doing the math. It's like seven hours. Uh, so I have work in like, oh, 
I, I don't have a job no more. <laughs> <laughs> we do be both. <laughs> also, would have to be at work right now. Like, I would have to go, like, I would have, what, 45 seconds to get to work. Oh, shit. I just, I just look over to my chat and all I see is comfortable, 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 come for my table. <laughs> Any brand new person that would just come into my stream and just be like, what the fuck is going on in here? Come on my table. Bro, y'all better watch out. Nightbot don't play no games. <laughs> Just work and like because of my uh, internship. Oh, so you ain't even getting paid to work, are you? Yes, we do. <laughs> we, we do it maybe. Like here in Denmark and for like an in internship. Yeah, maybe we get paid to go to school. What the fuck? <laughs> yes, I, I think right now I get like uh, I get two point two thousand dollars a month. Some bullshit. That's how much. That's, after, that's that's just because I am. I'm not like I don't. We have something called free code. Because I, I haven't know. used that. It's like uh, you can. Yeah, you can earn up to fifty thousand uh, Danish crowns, and then after that you have to pay taxes off a bit. Yeah, so it's basically uh, 10K, so almost uh, maybe eight k. Uh, yeah, after that you how many? The, um, how much crown is a dollar? Um, like one dollar is six point five. Interesting. Yeah, like actually, if y'all want to fucking lose your shit, watch this. Guess how much it is to live in my apartment right now, where I live right now. Two dollars. It's about two thousand dollars a month. That's like, if you want to live in like the big cities, in like an, in like Copenhagen, if you pay like 8,000, then you get like, you get like a little room and that's it. <laughs> yeah, this. If you live like in Finland, then you can get for like 10,000, you can get a, like somewhat bigger, big apartment. Yeah, we have a, like, I, like I have an 1,100 square foot, two bed, two bath. I don't know what feet get it. Oh, yeah, y'all do fucking, uh, what's it called? Meters. meters. Fucking, hold on, I got you, don't worry. I, my job works around meters, so. Meters and what the fuck is it called? Uh, hold Gosh. on, I got you. Square meters. Square meters. I got you. Square meter. Right. We're whipping the calculator out, boys. Oh. Got you ready for this? Uh. Cool. It's a 330 meter apartment. Oh, that's big. That's big. Are you sure about that? Like, that's hella big. I know that's hella big. I know what 330 meters is. That does not sound right at all. <laughs> Wait, how, how, how many square foot did you say? It's 1,100 square feet. Big boys. If you live in like the big cities, for example, Copenhagen, you have nothing because there's so many people in such a small amount of space. It makes sense. But then, like the part of Denmark where me and Fred lives in, it's like it's not very. Oh, maybe where Fred lives, it's it costs a bit. Oh. I live in like the western, oh, the west part of Denmark. It costs absolutely nothing, nearly to. But how how big is your place though? Uh, I don't know like how many square meters it is, but it's we compared Ooh. to the bigger cities, it's uh, broken. It's so broken for the prices because well, we pay nothing nearly. I I kind of just did the math. And this says you only have oh uh, here we go two square meters. There we go. I know what I did wrong. I said meter and not square meter in the calculations. Oh, yeah, that's why I was sitting there. I was like, 
this is that's not right. I know what 300 meters is, and that's ginormous. <laughs> yeah, that's like omega big. <laughs> yeah, that's big boy. Like you, rich as fuck. All right, so it's How? it's 99 square meters. Oh. Okay, 99. Yeah. Still, I mean, that's still okay. But for but for 2k, like I I get 55 square meters for 600 dollars. Yeah, that's fucking that's 2,000 a month. And then, like, to pay for, like, gas, for example, I pay around $60 uh, a week for gas. Uh, so, so I pay, like, I pay $600 in total, and that's including, like, water and... Oh, hell no. Bro, uh, let me blow your mind really quick. You ready for this shit? All right. Your, li your life sucks. Oh. I pay 2000 a month for my apartment. My fucking phone bill is 120 bucks a month. My car bill for me and my wife is what? about 500 total a month. My insurance is like another 200 on top of that. My fucking Wi-Fi is 80 bucks a month. My fucking, uh, what is it? My fucking uh, groceries a month is around 300, 200 to 300. My fucking Man. gas is technically 200 bucks a month. That sucks to suck, huh? <laughs> For your phone, you said like hundred dollars. Yeah, it's one hundred twenty. That's so yeah. expensive. What the mm -hmm. fuck? Oh, that's not even bad. Verizon makes it up to like three hundred a month. My uh, my old company pays for my phone, but my old like my old uh, like uh, my old phone was like maybe thirteen dollars a month. Makes sense. <laughs> And, and when you say was... dollars, like, you're converting that to American dollars? Yeah. Yeah, that's insane. Because, like, what's what's even funnier, actually? So, I make I make around, like, 5500 a month. 5500 What? That's oh. how much I make a month. Mate, my last job made me, like, well, it was very dependent. But I made from, like, the range of maybe 2.5K to 5K. So I could make 5k in a month, paid, like after tech. Yeah, just, you can do you can do the math there. <laughs> Welcome to the military, huh? Yeah. For the for. What is this fucking well, place? Uh, I just went like I just did slash go to the people who were there. Oh yeah, you right. You I didn't even realize people were here. Necro cavern. Necro cavern. <laughs> I'm glad I heard that too. Like to be in smaller groups for like for example like two to for example like two to um, four people. We like to be racist for fun. <laughs> Look, I'm, let me put it this way. I am not a little sensitive pansy, so I don't give a flying fuck if you look at me and call me a little white boy, okay? I don't give a flying fuck. Nah, mate, mate, we're not gonna call you a little white boy, we're gonna call you a little Mexican boy. I'm not Mexican though, what the fuck? <laughs> mate, look at yourself. Uh, can I get a tortilla? What, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? You want me to walk out and say, ¿Qué quiere donde ese rebozo y muchas grande porquito? No. No, that's not me. Hey, that, that, that didn't help your case, and you're killing the wrong mob. Yeah, I told you I could do impressions, dog. Yeah, small <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I just said. But you're not killing the, the right thing. Okay, here, I got you. Oh, am I killing the... Oh, yeah, I'm killing the wrong thing. Psst, I'm supposed to be killing a dragon. I'm fucking stupid. Here he is. Yeah, yeah, and I gotta kill okay. this dumb bitch. Mate, let, let us hear your, your Danish uh, impression. I don't know no fucking Danish. Like I said, y'all the first people I ever met that's Danish. Yeah, and we do be buzzing. <laughs> you do be buzzing. <laughs> See, I, buzzing. I had a fucking. Here, actually, let me hit you with this. If you think I'm Mexican, dog, my name is look. Look at my character's name. That is my real name. Cork on the cork. What? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Hunter. You, you think I'm Mexican? There's no damn way. <laughs> Hunter Lopez. <laughs> yeah, Hunter Fernandez. <laughs> Fucking no. Fernandez Hunter Cork. <laughs> uh, Pablo looking ass. 
Pablo looking at you know the sad thing is is my my fucking my facial hair grows like a damn Mexicans. <laughs> it's it's super depressing. I'm not gonna lie here, gents. It's only mustache, nothing else. <laughs> yeah, you think I'm kidding? It's bad. I guarantee you, I actually have one of my past streams that's fucking on here. Hold on, let's let's see, let's see, see. Uh, you have like a big thick mustache. Hell no! I got a little Pedro. You ever seen fucking Napoleon Dynamite? Oh no, not that one. Oh yes, oh yes, 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 yes. What's up, Nick? Is a scrub lord? <laughs> uh, that name do be bussin'. Oh look at that chat. What the? Yeah, the chat is just so fucked right now. Comfort Thanks, Nightbot. Comfort. My Nightbot Comfort. makes me so happy. Come on my table, come on table, come on my tits. <laughs> it's pretty Why bad. Why? What? Come on my chest. <laughs> oh, I, I, want no come on, I want you to come oh, on I want you to come on my chest. No, 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 the AQ section on Twitch is going. Oh yeah, it's 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 bussin'. It's bussin'. <laughs> we do be bussin'. That representation. It's it's clapping. It's it's moving. It's grooving. Oh yeah, I'm fucking. I'm 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 getting after it. I'm actually about to hop off though. I was supposed to hop off ten minutes ago. By the way, thanks assholes. Oh, what the heck, man? Hello. Yeah, you what? What? <laughs> what? You did not say anything. Hello. It's thriving. Yeah, it is. Undead warrior execution. I'm pretty sure I have that in here. I I know I have this one. Fuck. Well, I don't think that dropping item shadow lich is easy. That's just from my. That's just it's called shadow fall. Oh yeah. Fucking uh, under warrior, under warrior execution is easy. It's just giant, slash giant evil ward dage and then farm for like five. Okay, well actually I gotta hop off. I can't be doing this. <laughs> I don't know why I joined here. Is it in here? Oh yeah, it is. This fucking shit. All right, that won't be bad. Oh, I remember all this shit. It's been a long time since so I looked at this shit. I do have to go off this. So like, because you have to go to bed or something. Yeah, my my dad got mad at me. It's bedtime. No, I'm just fucking with you, dog. Yeah, no, it's 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 bedtime. I gotta get me <laughs> I gotta get me some memes before I go slay myself tomorrow. I don't know the time zones, you know. It's it's only nine twelve p.m. Wait, uh, Nick is a scrub lord. You do know that you can buy all the calendar classes if to join uh, slash join Hero Mod, right? Wait, what? Way to spend yeah. your money. If you do slash join hero mod, you can buy, you can buy all the calendar classes for 6k ACZ. Holy shit, that's a lot though. I have them all. <laughs> Jesus. Like on my other account, I have. Uh... Check in next year for my 12 year old. <laughs> I'm sad. My old, my, like my OG account is like 13 years old, but that's no 13 year reward. Oh. Wait, how old are you then? What the hell is this? Oh, I didn't know I'm gonna click that. Uh, I'm I'm twenty one. Oh. Twenty one. Twenty one. Twenty one. Oh, the time clock key. I see what you mean. What's the other? Jesus. Oh. 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 <laughs> Oh. I, I hate you guys so fucking much. <laughs> We're gonna get this man banned. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Alright, gents. But yeah, it is time for me to, to hop off. Alright, we'll do your favor another time. <laughs> I would choose a uh, timekeeper if you had to buy one. 
I mean, I'll be I'll be on 24/7 though. Y'all can always fucking just hit me up anytime. Can't wait to turn 21 and be crippling alcoholic. <laughs> Mate, just move to Denmark, then you can start at 16. <laughs> and some of us even before. <laughs> oh no. All right, gents. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. It was awesome fucking talking to y'all and anyone else who hopped in the stream. As always, I hope y'all have I hope y'all have a good morning. I guess you could say. <laughs>